they didn't get my costume in time. <laughs> and this is what I have to f- wear. Not my fault. Christine's fault. Sean, only like 300,000 people are going to see this. It's not even that many, dude. Come on. My family watches it sometimes. <laughs> really? And I like look at it over and over again. I'm like, uh, Look who decided to show up. Blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, so we said we said record at 7 p.m. Yeah, 7:33. I Madu went to just bed. got here. 7:33. Sorry. Um, we all. No, agreed. I didn't just get here. I came here like 10 minutes ago. I just took a long time putting this on because so much. It is. A, it's a lot. Uh, we all agreed that uh, we should start getting like penalized for being late. And why do you, why do you say that's penalized. how you say it? Penalized. Wait, penalized. 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 Yeah. Actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think what what do we think, guys? Like wait, 50 percent wait, wait. on the check. I want to ask no. you though. What usually makes you late? I was taking a quiz. No, you're bad with time. But what time? What time do you take the quiz at? What time? What What was the day scheduled like? Like, did you get off of school and have like four hours to take the quiz, or did you just get home, had to eat, take the quiz? Like you were squeezing everything in. Exactly that. Got I don't home. believe it. <laughs> you are just bad with time. Okay, wait. How about, how, what about? Huh? Oh, okay. Dude, I can't handle spice. I can't either. I just want to try it. Those are the best. They're so good. Did you eat these? Yeah, I ate them. When? Before I got sick. It's too late, brother. I'm already in. <laughs> I don't know why you guys think that I just threw away all my food after I got I sick. Oh, God. I haven't swallowed yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. Uh, real quick. So, um, I took a week off from posting because I got very oh, extremely shit. sick. And uh, everyone was super scared for me. And it was really sweet. You know, all you guys texted me. It was really sweet. Except, I, except- I'm telling you, I thought out five different scenarios. I won't say what they are. But Do you think I was going to die? I thought you died. I thought, I honestly... Okay. When you stopped responding. I did too. For real? Yeah. I, did too. I was like, oh, Nick turned into a zombie. No, I mean, everyone everyone texted me and I felt like super cool. And then Christine texted me, when are we getting paid? So I was kind of like, oh, might as well get back to work. So yeah. Yeah, I was like, chop, chop. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to lie though. It was really cool though, seeing everyone that texted me. Because there were a bunch of people that like, Individually texted me and stuff like that. Come and on, we was... got three hundred and thirty thousand subscribers. He's not gonna. No, no, but like even like like all of like our friends like texted me too, like individually, like yo, bro, like are you good? Like checking up on you, like calling me and stuff like that. So it was really sweet. I, f- I feel like yeah, I, I'm I'm very blessed to have the friend group that I have. But yeah, guys, I think it was like a virus. The doctor couldn't tell me what exactly it was, um, but I was violently th- throwing up uh, bile and blood for like twenty four hours. What, what, do you, what do you think's the the big three of viruses, like ever? Ebola, that's probably up there. Ebola, it gotta be Corona. That sh- made us all go in lockdown. That's pretty gnarly. Yeah, lockdown is gnarly. Ebola, Corona, I'm gonna go. I think this this one's next up. Okay, I would say the Black Plague, but that's a plague. It's not a virus. I would say that is a pretty crazy. The Black Plague, it's a plague, not a virus. <laughs> Top three catastrophic things to happen in this world: the Black Plague, terrible thing that. that that's number one for sure. Um. What is that one movie with the earthquake and tsunami? 2012. 2012. That's yeah. not a, that wasn't a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, no, why do they do that? that why did like they do that? What? Make movies like that or? No, what? like why do they make that movie? Because like, the, the, the world, calendar, the world, the Mayan the world calendar. Calendar is supposed but to. Why would they do that? Boy, like, were they wrong. Sh- I mean, that scared me yeah, so bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pretty catastrophic. I was like, dude, I'm like 11 years old right now. What <laughs> Dude. Their target audience was like 11 year olds too. Yeah, and that was. Dude, fun. I remember. I, I remember here. thinking that too. I was like, dude, I just got here. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I just got on this earth, and then I was so scared. My mom was like, nothing's gonna happen. I think I stayed awake that night. I was very, oh very yeah, terrified. definitely. Um, I'm gonna go number two. I'm gonna go. No, number three. We just said that's number two. No, 2012 wasn't a real disaster, but so I can't say that. It was. It <laughs> was. Oh, top, top, top three, three, top three, three catastrophic to things to happen in this world. I'm like, gonna go. Death toll. Three. Death toll. Right. Oh, it, 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 okay, just top three know. catastrophic. We said two. Black Plague. Debatable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, World War Two would happen. World War Two. World War Two. And I'm gonna go the the meteor killing the dinosaurs. It kind of Wait, are we doing world or are we doing to the humans? Uh, to the world. Oh, I have one. Are you doing real top three? Or yes, real, the real, real top three. Spanish flu oh, was crazy. really bad. With that, that was really bad. That was like COVID. They went on lockdown. When all the too. Spaniards infected all the Native Americans and oh. killed them all. Okay, I'll put it up there. What about you? What you got? The Holocaust. 
Well, that's that goes hand in hand with World War Two. Hand in hand with World War Two. That's what I was referencing too. Yeah. I was talking more so I like we'll I thought, I thought they were talking about like, like diseases or something. Like that's what yeah, I thought. I didn't, yeah. mean, to, I didn't mean to take oh, yeah. it like there. I meant to take it just yeah, like. Really, really that is true. You just you just made me put 2012 over over the Holocaust. That is so bad. We're not we're not talking about that. We're not. I think that's number one ever. Let's do diseases. Yeah, diseases is what we're sticking to because we can name a lot of terrible things. So I don't want number three. AIDS. AIDS. Oh, okay, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's Mama. number number three. Well, and two was World War Two, and no, no, like disease. Ebola. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Black pe- plague. No, Ebola was Ebola is like a disease though. It's not like catastrophic. It didn't really hit oh. here. I yeah. think Black Plague should be one though. Yes. Wait, Black what are we, are we talking about? United States? I think so. Nah, it's all over the world. Spanish flu should be two. Would you put COVID in your? I would put COVID for three. top one. Three. No. Over the Black, Black plague? plague. I don't give a f- Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. You just want to yes, tell your case you went through it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, I'm not going to lie. The reason why I was late was because I was trying to fix my phone. So it wasn't the quiz. It wasn't the quiz. I lied. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty well, no, no. Part of it was because <laughs> of the quiz. Because I was the trying honesty to... honesty isn't there. No, no, no but... That's it. Yeah, honestly, not you, You're lying. You lied. You just lied. This is, no. this is a family. You got to be straight up honest with the family. I haven't, have, I haven't seen you guys in like what? I feel like I haven't seen Maru in like three months. Damn. No, for real? It feels like I haven't yeah, seen any of you guys for like years. It feels like a long ass time. I was time. driving here and I was like, wow, I'm so excited to see them. Yeah. So you excited look- you were 30 minutes late? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Okay. Wow. I was so excited. I, I wasn't lying. Was it was because of the quiz. <laughs> One of it and the other one is I was you trying to fix my back. phone. You can't go back. You can't go back. You just said it wasn't the quiz. You can't say it's the quiz now. It was part of it. That's what got me to let's get out say, of my house later say, than I should have. Let's just say bad time management. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think guys, that's what it is. Uh, ADHD. I think that's what okay, it is. Okay, let's start. Let's, okay, before, before we start though. But before we start, can I just say, you, <laughs> <laughs> you look exactly like a pirate right now with your beard and That's everything. exactly what I said to I you. I was going to ask. Uh, ratings of my facial hair. One through ten. Chico. I think, I think I <laughs> you know why you started with me. Yeah. I think Nick looks really. I think I think Nick looks really good with the facial hair, especially when the light hits him. Man, looks like a light skin. Thank you, Madu. One through ten. What do you think? You did not look like a light skin. You look Arab more. That's what I feel. I feel yeah. like I'm very racially ambiguous though. A little bit. Yeah. The curly hair. Do you, the... know, do you know what that means? Yes. What does it mean? Why do you think I don't? Because you looked that... at me funny. What does it mean? Um, <laughs> ambiguous. It's like a very like um. You could look like anything. Like he he doesn't look just Mexican. He could look like white, I guess, and like All Arab. Right. I wouldn't say white. I wouldn't say white. <laughs> you, I would have passed as a white man. A tan white man. No. I think no. he could pass as a tan white man. No way. Maybe Take off that, dark that like, hat. No way. Maybe like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Okay. Besides Latin. That's about it. <laughs> you can look like Greek, or is that a Greek? Middle Eastern. Right? Yeah. I kind of see that. I love that Instagram post you did, though, of your facial hair. And you did the laugh at the end. Oh, bro. Hey, you were I was feeling myself. I was like, it's just so. <laughs> oh, man. I reported it. Just so long. Because you know he's like in the room at the very end. Oh, he goes, <laughs> I, how, like, how many of those did it take? How many of those did it take? Be completely honest. Being so dead ass. Hey, probably like, like bro, six. Bro, and I think they're all on my Snapchat. I have been with Nick when he does shit like that. And it'll just. It'll just be talking to him and he pulls out his phone and he starts and he's like don't fucking look at me and i'll just i'll just like turn around and be like nope not that one don't look at me <laughs> did you walk the same route that same little route did I, walk, you I walked that same exact route that's i same respected exact route. though you I put that shit out there that, yeah that's what's up and all the 12 year olds were feeling you i'm 12 year old son <laughs> you know what's weird though okay so i was i did check my dms just because i wanted you know some self-esteem boost Validation. Um, everyone who looked younger was like didn't like it but all like everyone that looked older was like like they were fucking with the facial hair so. it's because you do look older how much older do i look like? you look I don't like three you, or you four years, like, years older uh, well. you pay a mortgage and uh kids like you might have to go to jail soon i would say no, like 23 <laughs> 24 i would say 23 24 23 that's, that's what that's what i said i think nick has grown into like a more like the older type of face structure so i think the hair looks like really good yeah because it supports i'm not kidding you look like you're turning into a man you should yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, almost, you're almost there you're almost there <laughs> okay one through like one through time what do you think mm. do i look better or worse how about that do your parents like it my mom hate and dad like it actually. oh really yeah. usually moms hate like when their sons grow facial hair because they or maybe up. just asian moms um they can grow my mom thinks you look good <laughs> dude I'm gonna be honest with you, the only opinion that matters to me is Mrs. Lee. And she said that I look really good. 
Okay, yeah. No, she never said really good. Yes, yeah, she did. Don't get That's ahead it. of yourself. What'd she say? She said, she was like, she, I like show him and she was like, oh, he looks like Arab. And he was like, but like in a good way. She was like, he looks good. Yeah. What did she say that? What did you say? I was like, hell yeah, dude. I was, I was feeling like, <laughs> I was feeling cool. I was feeling really cool. But do you like it better or worse? Mm. Or not the same? It looks good. I say you should keep it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. What, what, what do you think? We'll go nine. You should keep it. Christine, Christine, little me. smirk. I need to see what it looks like without the headband too, because it's kind of throwing me off. Like, like in a good way or in a bad way? Like, do like I look right mad now, mus- muscular? It fits, it fits what you're wearing, but like, also, I just don't. You like, change the stuff. She just dude. doesn't fucking like you. Yeah, dude. I think I think Christine <laughs> doesn't like me. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the cheek. Maybe if it was cleaned up more, I would like it. You want to like lower or something like that, or like what? Like, that shit goes up here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I don't know. The beard is maybe just because it's still kind of patchy, and yeah. then wait, the fuck said it was patchy. Nick, and then keep growing it till like the patchiness goes away. It's so patchy it? and thin. <laughs> okay, patchy and thin. <laughs> Damn. Two things you don't want. Yeah. What the fuck? And then get rid of it. So kind of patchy. It's That's a little. It. On the sides. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. It's a little racy, like. Yeah. So like, yeah. All right. Whatever. Sage. <laughs> Keep going. You can see. You can see the hair. How do you like it? Oh, at least, <laughs> no, I don't want to <laughs> see the pin anymore. It looks good here, but oh. not that good on. Don't on shave the it sides. until you see its full potential. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Queen. Uh, I think it looks sick. I like it. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Bam. Run mine. <laughs> it's okay. You'll get the thing. Wait. What'd you say? Why'd you bite your lip after? I'm trying to be like you. Make the thirst traps. <laughs> okay, guys. I um, want to see freaking Sean do some thirst traps. Hell no. The other day, I was going through TikTok and I thought I saw him do a thirst trap, and but it was. Fence walk. <laughs> I fucking knew it. It was, wasn't it? It was, huh? <laughs> Sean, yeah, it you was looked Fence exactly walk. like him, bro, in a couple of his old videos. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. I just like to be my own person. But I, everybody, I think I get like three DMs. You guys are like day. the same brand of white people. <laughs> Is the best the curly hair started. white boy with the. Uh, does he have blue eyes too? I don't think he does. Know, Nick, 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 when my hair grows into an afro, I look exactly, exactly. like him. Like there's not a <laughs> difference. Hey, your cut, your cut right now. Hey, no, your cut right now is, is good. Fire. It's fire cut. You got a good cut. Going oh, on. I thought you said your color, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Nick just told me I was whiter than the sun today. So, dude, you just you look like. I'd look. also like to put out there that this costume did not come in for me, so <laughs> I have to wear this. Hey man, your headband. Yeah, dude, you gotta put the headband. It looks yeah, and your eye patch. You're like and the pirate. earring. And what the the earring. fuck? No. Put the eye patch on these. Yeah. Put the eye patch on these. I think the eye patch will look hard. <laughs> you're, you're lucky you didn't see me earlier. <laughs> I'm kidding, Sean. Also, um, I didn't actually see Spence Wall on my FYP. I just wanted to roast you for a second. <laughs> roast? What's wrong with Spence Wall? Oh. Damn. Shit. This yeah, no- buddy. See? Nope, it's over. And number two. You're always trying to start something. Sean, put the string <laughs> above your eye. Right? Isn't it? Yeah. I think you have to do it sideways, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's sideways. Not straight across. Wait. Where I say no. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> <laughs> other, no other, like you almost have it. Yeah, the, the, the other, other way. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. And number two, sorry, sorry, sorry. let it be known that while Nick just got out of the hospital, we went to the gym, and I said, "Do not get in contact. Don't touch me. No saliva. Nothing." I was spotting him, and he spit in my mouth. <laughs> You kinky bastard. Like on purpose? I was pushing mad weight. You, uh, I, he was like, get my face. I was like. Nah, he was trying. <laughs> he went in his mouth. It was like a sprinkler. Just all no, Sean, over No, Sean, you know, face. he did that on purpose. He was trying to put a spell on you. <laughs> a love spell? A love spell. Do you do you believe in that, Madu? Yeah. That when. Love spells? Like period sex is like a spell. Do you really believe that though? Like really? I'm not, I'm not messing with you right now. What does that mean? Yeah, I'm talking to you specifically. I know she probably does. I'm talking about you specifically. No, I don't. Okay. But it's crazy. Said, no, why? Why is it crazy? It's crazy. Like, think about it. Like, it's blood. Like, blood is like sacred for a lot of people. So, having sex. Is- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like a warrior after. It does. Sure. It makes sense. No, it makes sense. <laughs> but like, it does make sense. I know some people that like actually believe in that shit. I have come across those people yeah. too. People apparently they said that. Sorry, Sean. You want to go? go? No, no, you go, you go, you go. Apparently, if you do have period, period sex and you put attention, be- intention behind it, the other person becomes obsessed with you or y'all become obsessed with each other. But does that have to happen before or after you do it? Like, I'm intentionally going to go have 
intercourse with this man. I think before you set my- the intention. Oh. Yeah. So you're like setting it up. So you're like, I'm on my period. If I do it with this guy, it means something. And then that, that means that you said they're soul bonded or what? Or he's obsessed with her? What, what, was, was, it? what was it? Soul tie. Soul, soul tie? tie? What were you going to say, Sean? If you guys got married to a girl, love your life. Love her with all your heart. Hmm. Some could say your current relationship status. Let's say at the very marriage is over. She's like, I want you and I want to drink your blood. Um, Go for cool? it. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. If she drinks it straight from my wrist, I think that's hot. Like, <laughs> I think hot. that's pretty hot. If yeah. she like, if she's like, if she wants it straight from like my like my body, I think that's hot. But I wouldn't like put it in a cup and have her drink it. Did you yeah, get that from Naruto? Think about it. No, no, no. Okay. Think about it. Is that not hot? Yeah, I would like. Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> I guess it's just very specific. No, like anywhere. Like if I cut myself and she sucks on it and she's like, now we're together forever, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> I'd be kind of scared, but I'd be like, okay. Instant. I'll never leave you. <laughs> It'd be kind of scary. I probably it would probably give me. I would probably like second guess ever leaving her. He's convincing her. me right now. Think about it. Think about it. I would second guess ever leaving her. Yeah. Because then I'd be like, oh shit. That's like, a spell. That's a spell. Yeah. Nah, I would be like, she's down for whatever. Then. Yeah. Like she's down for me. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. What? What if you do some crazy shit? You're like, okay. Eat her shit or something? Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> That's crazy <laughs> to drink her blood. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> like, she, she, like you said, you wanna drink from her from her wrist? Is that what you said? Like, she, or she, she cuts would have wrist? to drink from mine. I wouldn't wanna drink from hers, though. Okay, what, yeah, so what, what are you gonna drink from her what? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Wait, what was your question, Sean? What would you drink from hers? Yeah. Yeah. Careful, Madu. Her titty milk. Yes! Yes! I think yes. Enough, enough to make a grown man cry. <laughs> yes! That's the equivalent. Yes. But. I, nah. I don't think that's no, the equivalent. You have to get pregnant first. Yeah, you have to get pregnant first. That's too much work. I'm down. It still works out. But, um, <laughs> no. But no. I'm saying, though, I'm saying, though, ladies, low key, if you want to keep your man from cheating, drink his blood. Because I feel like he's going to freak out and he's going to be like, oh shit, I can't cheat. I and can't. then say some crazy shit after Yeah, say too. some like crazy shit like, that's like sounds demonic. Start muttering under <laughs> your breath. Yeah, like. Just whispering really quietly or something like that. Make your <laughs> eyes roll back too. That, no, see, then I would probably, I'd probably sock him in the face. I would think we're in a demonic ritual. <laughs> no, no, okay, wait. I'm God, I'm if, God. If she, if she cuts your wrist and she goes, going, hi, is your body? <laughs> like in the dark, I'm socking her in the face. There's no way. I'd probably freak out. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Sean beats women. Uh, yeah. Sean beats women. That's the headline of the story. That's why I got the wife beater on. Um, Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait hold on. Let me reach and go back. I would, I would politely say this isn't for me, and I would get out of the room. All of a sudden. Okay. I'll die. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We're, we're actually playing around. But what if a girl actually did tell you, like, yo, like, I kind of want to like drink your blood. If my girl did that, I, I'd freak the fuck out. I, I would, would you freak out at I first? Would, I don't know what exactly my reaction would be. I think I'd kind of be like, wait, what? And then have her repeat like, it and be like, oh, okay, you really said that. And then I'll be like, okay, well. Would you just be like, okay. Yeah, I think I would Dude, I would be down. I can't fucking see. Like, my eyesight is so bad. <laughs> but she, okay, so what if she did that tomorrow? Okay. You're cool. Like, all right. Like, if she explains it. Okay, what if she wants a promise from now? Same thing? That's yeah. Cool. That's way different from drinking blood. <laughs> Wait, what? Bonded, <laughs> drink blood, and she says, like, I don't, bonded for I don't life. Really, I don't really understand stuff like that like promise promise rings? because i feel like i'm that's it should be like that no matter what yeah oh it's my like, god right. you just made all the fans fall in love with you right now <laughs> no, no but it, it doesn't make sense it's just it's like, just you're putting it as a like, materialistic thing though yeah yeah, yeah. You know I, mean? like, like, I could buy her a ring right now like i'll be like okay you know what i'm gonna go buy you a ring and i put a ring on her like what is that exactly gonna do it doesn't change absolutely my intentions absolutely nothing at all. my friend she yeah. can still go tomorrow to the club and she probably like me a lot more though what do you think about it <laughs> like promise rings do you think it has a very big meaning behind it I think for some people, yeah. Like for especially for people that maybe their love language is like um, gifts or something. Okay, yeah. Like obviously for them, like they would like a promise ring more, or like I don't know. So what about what about for you personally though? Does it have any? No? Not really. What about you? Would it have more meaning? Yeah, I guess would it have more meaning? Mm, like yeah. a promise ring? Yeah. Like if some guy said, I want to be with you for the rest of like our lives, but obviously I can't do anything right now. You know, he needs to get situated. Would it make you more comfortable if he then got you a ring and said, no. this is my promise? You. No, because yeah. it don't really matter. It don't really matter. Men lie either way. Like, <laughs> and they cheat and, and, and so do women. And I think no one should have a Valentine's tomorrow. That's, that's what yeah. I think. 
fuck Valentine's. Your eyes looking pretty bad right now. Yeah, just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> just take it off. Dude, like, it looks like, bad. I'm not going to lie. Bad. I'm readjusting to the light right now. And it is not. <laughs> you, you can just take it off, Sean. Sean, it's half closed right now. Guys. She looks crazy. But also, I have this funny ass story that I was thinking of this whole time. That's why I seem kind of like what not listening it? to y'all. What is it? But I don't know if I should say it. But I'm going to oh. say it anyway. So like, because <laughs> we were talking about like all that, like, oh, period blood and all that shit. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to say it. I can't lead up. Like well, you that. just totally just interrupted. Now you have to. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. So like, <laughs> my ex thought I was like into all that voodoo shit. He would always be like, "You're into that, you're into that voodoo shit, huh?" Like that shit's low key scary because he would see like my crystals and stuff. That's when I was like into all that. Right. You got him like out like on the table. You call that voodoo? Hmm? Is that what she that has is? him out on the table? Voodoo. Like just. Um. No. 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 Magical stuff. No. He, that. That's just how he referred it oh, to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like. The reason why I found out about all the shit he was doing was because... Oh, look, did the crystals line up and say, like, cheater? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, that it fucking spells it out. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? No. Freaking, I... <laughs> when we were arguing, right? I was like, bro, you can't lie to me right now. <laughs> and then I... I Okay, so you know how I have oh this tattoo, God. right? You said that? And the I evil like, eye? The evil eye yeah, tattoo? Yeah, the evil... Okay, this isn't even an evil eye it tattoo. It told me! <laughs> it spoke to me in my sleep. This is not okay. even an evil eye tattoo, y'all. Like, I just, like, kind of made it up. This is just, like, a tattoo me and my bestie have as, like, a matching tattoo, right? And I was like, literally, <laughs> look at this eye. There's an evil eye. Like, if you lie to this shit, like, this will bounce right back. <laughs> oh, my God. Way. And he admitted? And then I was like, so tell me the fucking truth right now. Because, and then, like, I, I did this. But, like, I was half joking. Because. <laughs> he admitted? <laughs> yes. I was half joking because, like, you could tell. Like, I was, like, laughing. Because I didn't think he did. You didn't oh, think he was actually cheating. He did more than, like, what he did. And he ended up admitting to shit that I had no clue about that was a hundred times worse than what he did before. And I was like, oh. You dudes are idiots, bro. And that's how I that's how I found out about Dead all ass. this. Because of Can this fucking tattoo and because he thought I was into some voodoo shit. That's how you found out? No yeah. way. Dude, yo, that's yo, yeah, fucking, yeah, that's yeah. right, bro. That's, that's how you crazy. pull that shit out. Yeah, and like I think about that and I laugh sometimes <laughs> because he was... He was scared. This man thought that, like... Honestly, though, yeah. If some girl pulled that on me, I'd be like, whoa. 100%. And she's just like... That's No, but, like, are you dead ass? Like, that's why you admit to your shit? Because, anyways. Damn, well... There you go. There you go, ladies. You There's gotta, another way to tattoo get your man's. An eye. Call it what you want. Yeah. The um, eye of the tiger. But, uh... What's called? We're talking about blood and promise rings. Sorry, I still kind of want to stay on this topic just for a little bit. Yeah. Um, what if your girl said, said, yo, I want to drink your blood? That's fucking crazy, dude. And then she's just like, you know, like, it's just like, I've read about it. And, you know, we've been together for so long. And she like, she keeps going. Like, would you eventually let her? No. No, you wouldn't? Like, concept wise, concept wise, it's, it's kind of hot. Would I actually fucking do it? That shit's like demonic as hell. Wait, I don't why know. not? What if it was like a little? Why not? Just like in my blood. So if I have to go like. No. Okay. No. Okay. What if it's like a little prick on your finger and she just sucks your oh, finger? Oh, like I just got cut. Yeah. 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 Like a little prick, like yeah, the doctors. Dude. I'm oh, thinking you like let her, you let her not win? open, not open. Like you, you don't slit the way open. you said it earlier yeah, though. Fault, it was like my fault. My fault. My fault. My wrist, you drink the blood. <laughs> my fault. My fault. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that. But what? What? But it's a hefty amount. She pokes your finger with the finger. She pokes your finger with the pen and she sucks it. Super down for that. Okay. What if you're bleeding and she's just like, just randomly like, goes in and takes a lick from your knee? Would not mind. So then you're cool with it. You're I would cool do with the it. same, my friend. You just don't want the wrist. I, I wouldn't want to like. He doesn't want to cut like, himself open for it. Yeah. Um, she's mom. like, can I drink your blood? And she, yeah, she goes. <laughs> okay. That's fucking wild. Okay, ladies. What if you're oh, man? Huh? My love. Cuss? Yeah, 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 you can cuss. Uh, ladies, no. what if you're you can you can curse? It's past the ten minute mark, so we can curse now. Can't okay. curse anymore. Um, <laughs> Damn, I feel like I already cursed. You're good. Just the one thing you guys stay away from is just trying not to use sex. The no one thing we should try to stay away from is try not to use sex. Okay, then what word should we use for sex? Oh, I wrote out. Schmecks. I wrote a paper. The I deed. To give it to you guys. Yeah, pickle. The deed. The pickle. Deed uh, pickle and the deed. <laughs> And can, flour. Can we not do pickle and jar? Because like, that's not the right size. Like it should be like fucking, I don't know. Like Pick, pickle and a donut. A roll. No. A toilet paper roll. Well, like, intercourse. 
Maybe like. No, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep it like fun. In a remorse. Sausage and bun. Hot dog and bun. What's wrong with pickle in jar? You're just saying it's too big? Chili yeah. dog, chili dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold yeah. on. Okay. okay. I'm trying to think of a word. Okay, fine. You can think on it. Um, okay. Girls, what if your what if your current man's said something about that? Like he wanted to drink your blood. Is it hot or weird then? I'm not gonna lie, I would be creeped the fuck out. Mm. You would? I would be. What if you brought it up like ah, it's my birthday? <laughs> It's, it's my Can I drink your blood? No. I feel like that's some kind of witchcraft and it'll scare me off. Like, I don't know what you're trying to do. What if, what I, okay. Oh wait, hold what on. If, can, can I intrude really quick? I feel like if they asked to drink my blood, I would say no. That's fucking weird. Can I drink, can I, can I try that? Like, that's, <laughs> come on. You know what I mean? I know where you're going with this. But if I, like, I was just like, ah, oh, like, owie. Oh, no. I have oh, a little, here, I have here. a little cut. Look. No, no. I what, what if she's just like, all no, no, bro. It is drinking. I mean, I literally mean drinking. I don't mean like owie type shit. I Wait. mean like intentional dude, drinking. The more I think about it, the like more drinking? I don't like it. Like with the drinking? straw. No, like drinking out of your, your, yeah, sucking. sucking. Drinking out of, my fault. Sucking. Like a okay. vampire. You know, that's one of the things, those things that I would be down to do on someone else, but I wouldn't be down for that person to do it on me because I know my intentions would be clean. You'd but drink your man's blood? You'd want to drink your man's blood? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were asking Sean. No, no. You, you'd like, want to, you'd want to drink your man's blood. If he had a little cut, and then we didn't have no band aid, yeah, I suck it. <laughs> but then, why? But then, like, I just, I, it'd be weird if they asked me for some reason. Okay. Yeah. What if you had a little boo boo and he wanted to suck on it? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, see, that's the way you put it, though. If I had a little boo boo and she's like, "Can I suck on?" I'd be like, "What?" No, nah, I'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> or, yeah. If she yeah. asked, you "Can I suck, suck on, it. on it?" That's weird. But what if she's just like, "Oh, let me suck on it." That's that's different, you know. It doesn't. I, I, know, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, you know, yeah, that's what my boyfriend did. He'd be like, "Suck on this." It, it's. I think it's more. Maybe this one instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard. Oh, Do you know how I feel? Oh, 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 I think that one's down here too. <laughs> it's this side of the table. You schmucks. Are so oh, Ooh, I'm. <laughs> sorry. Okay, did she use my fucking word? I think so. It's your word. Schmucks? It's not my. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I never claimed that word. Mm. That's Devin's word. I never Before claimed, claimed, claimed to be a fighter. fighter. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Go ahead, man. Just talk about uh, it. If um, would you rather them come about it in a sexual way or a non-sexual way? I think it's more weird if it's a non-sexual way. If she's just like, "Oh, can I suck on it?" I'd probably be like, "Why?" <laughs> but if she's trying to make it somewhat. I think it'd be. It's not like it almost be like more normal. I don't know if someone just wanted to suck my finger just because. Like if I had a significant other who wanted to suck my finger, I'd probably just be like, "You do that's like, weird." I'm like biting and why? sucking on my boyfriend's arm randomly. Okay, well Same. that's true. A lot of people do that. So what if yeah. you draw blood? Are you like? Mm. Oh, I'll slurp it right up. Mm. Damn. It makes sense. Mm. This is my boyfriend. I drink his cum, okay? Like, what? <laughs> like, why are you... Like, yeah, how much different is blood, right? That <laughs> is true. Cum is know? literally, like, I was going to say kids. that. I drink his cum. It is kind of crazy. Okay, let's get off this. Yeah? Like crazy. Oh, let's go God. ahead and sign it. She drinks yeah. his gum. That's what We're signing say. in yes. 40 minutes. Okay, 40 no, but we started, we started, like, 20 minutes in, though, because this one was late for... Like by forty minutes. Please. Anyways, okay. Um, <laughs> please. <laughs> and we're alive in, in three, two, two one. one. Hello, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wait, no, 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 no. You sign us in. Oh god. That was really creepy. Why did you guys go at the same time? Who? I just, I just, I just know what he's gonna say. <coughs> Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Why'd you <laughs> breathe in like that? <sighs> when I breathe in now, I ha you can hear the mucus. I gotta do a uh, lung cleansing ritual. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello, um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Christine. Christine. Devinho. <laughs> no, give a pirate name. Uh, yeah. No, a name. Oh. <laughs> that was sour. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna tell Oh, we need a tough name. Damn. What are pirate names? I don't know. Jack Scurvy. Scurvy. I'm Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Scurvy. 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 Scurv
Shaggy. No, Shaggy. <laughs> Scruffy. 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 <laughs> nah, you should I'm be. Apache. I'm Patches. Patches. <laughs> Patches. I'm Patches. <laughs> you should be lefty. Oh, sorry, I spit. Why would I be lefty? Are you referring to his penis? Because you curved oh, to the left. Oh, how'd you get that, Sean? How do you know that? I just know. <laughs> I'll be lefty. Who are you? You should be curly. You should be, uh. Blanco. Spinwall. Spinwall. And who are you? I'm the captain. No. <laughs> You're captain. Who are you? Who are you? Um, I'll be. I don't even know any pirate names. Give me a sick ass name, please. Sir Derek, Madam the Third. <laughs> Derek. Derek. What's what would a girl's pirate name be? I can't even think. Think Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, what are the girls' names? I don't know. What Mary. Names uh, were. Elizabeth. <laughs> that's what. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But at that time. <laughs> Never mind. We can I'll forget be, about the girls. I'll be, I'll Marilyn. Be. Marilyn. Marilyn. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> what are you gonna be? I'll be the Slayer. Is that Because I'm a slave. <laughs> okay. Let's just, let's just move it on. Chrissy, you got one? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Wait, what was mine? What'd you say? Francois. <laughs> 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 you should be like Scrubby. Who said Francois? You should be like Scrubby. I'll be Scrubble. Scrub, scrubbles. <laughs> scrubbles. You should be <laughs> Will, Will Ferrell. Will <laughs> Ferrell. Oh, you got that off the cut, man. Not even original. <laughs> <laughs> I know that wasn't as fun as I thought it'd be. I expected you guys to laugh, but you guys didn't. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I yeah. admire the honesty. I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give honesty. you like a laugh button or like a or like something that you hit Please? that we always have to laugh. Which one's oh, what's a laugh track? Wait, can can we do a laugh track? Yeah, yeah, we can do a laugh track. Which one is it? You know, dude. Know no, wait. Please laugh. don't make it like yeah. the New Day shows, though, bro. They yeah. laugh every minute. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> I got you. Like the uh, this time. Yeah, bro. <laughs> they be laughing too much. We want to get to let them know you hosting and everything. Oh, so this week I'm hosting, and I got these questions from ins an Instagram poll I did a while ago. Um, these are questions from subscribers. The first question I'm going to start with today is, why do people not want to commit nowadays? Mm. Why don't they want to? I don't really know if I even have an answer for that. Mm. New, I got a new I generation. Like a new generation? I know why. This is my take on it. I feel like people feel like they could do better. Agreed. Yes. I and that's why that. they don't want to settle because they're always like, oh, there's always better out there. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's also because of the internet and TikTok, and you yeah. just get you just get pushed constant of like girls and guys from like yeah. every other yeah. place. You're just like, oh, I can do better. I can do better. I right. saw something about how like um, oh, bro, what was it? It was like a video about how fuck, like fumbling. Okay, how it's a bad thing to get like a really really good girlfriend or boyfriend as your first relationship i, I saw that. that did you see that because because you think that there's better out there and then you break up with them and then afterwards you realize oh shit it's not really it's that not better that shit is, that shit fucked me up i was like that is crazy was he the guy that was being interviewed um, uh, i don't, I don't know. I think okay i think i saw that but he also said he said that um it's usually men who fumble fumble the bag just because like you know usually like women like they don't want to let go of their first love but men are like, oh, I feel like there's better out there. Like, oh, I'm going to college. Like, I want to, you know. I mean, it goes both ways. But that's what he was saying. Is that point. statement not weird to make to, or a weird reason to break up with somebody, though? Because you think you can do better? Or no? I Jesus mean, Christ. I mean, if someone said that. You get what I mean? Like, like, you know what? I, I, I see the physical side. Like, yeah. for people, like, on TikTok and shit. Like, yeah. Uh, but it's like, I don't really, really think that, though. I don't right. think that. But, I mean, it's each their own. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. different. Everybody... Could think that they're gonna do better, but they're really realistically nobody gives a fuck nowadays. Like nobody cares. Yeah. They'll fuck you over like like nothing. Like it, it's not gonna affect them at all. But I was also gonna add, it's not only like physical. Sometimes people think they could do better in terms of like oh like somebody that like does this instead like doesn't do this like my current partner does. You know, just like stuff like that. I I feel like guys fumble it though too because yeah it's I think guys think more so on the physical end like mm. I can do better or because like I said it's your first relationship so you think there's more out there mm -hmm. and stuff like that but I think that's a sad ass wake up call to break up no, with somebody and then realize you can't do better yeah. and then you just go crawling back that's where they always come back y'all yep 
I honestly do think a lot. I see a lot of guys like desperately crawling back. Oh, to them. Oh, yeah. I was gonna ask you guys, what is up with that? Why is it that literally every girl I've ever come across that has been in a relationship has said Bruh. every guy that they've been in a relationship with has come back? I I don't think I yeah all of them have come back. Also, it's like even I broke up with all of them, but they all came back. So I guess that doesn't apply to me. Okay. <laughs> what are your pauses that throw me off, dude? Okay. It's just the pauses. I get what you're, I get what you're saying. But, right? Yeah. We know a girl that's pretty crazy about just going back to her ex. You have the occasional, like you have the occasional, but I don't know many guys that say that their girl that they broke up with or that broke up with them comes back. I hear it more so like girls that I'm around like friends with say like every single relationship they've been in, the guy has come back at least once for some reason or another. Like, and they seem get like back together. fucking losers. Bro. Yeah, yeah, like get back together, um, even just a hook up or something like that, but they always like come back for some reason. Like, you mm. know what I mean? I think I know why. This is my take on it, but I think it's because guys like right after the breakup, they, instead of healing, they just straight on go like find another distraction right so like they're not healed right and time is go goes by and then they realize like fuck like i miss her later on right because they were like so distracted by other things but i feel like girls like after the breakup yes like maybe the first week or two they're like down bad but after they heal are you guys? <laughs> no, he just no, got no, no, mad weird was, i'm sorry he just got mad weird yawning. i'm sorry i looked at him go you guys know what i'm talking about yeah. Well, you gotta finish. You gotta finish. You're saying, you're saying, you're saying, wait, hold on. You're saying that <laughs> since, since they never heal to begin with and they use distractions, yes. after a long period of time, since they use distractions, they get to that point where they're actually sad and like, damn, it's been so long and I'm right. still fucking sad. But they yes. never gave themselves the chance to heal. Yes. So they're just thinking like, oh, I had all this time and I still feel like shit. But that's because they never even tried to heal. They just tried to throw distractions yes. at themselves. But like me and my girlfriends, I feel like we just like straight up just heal like right away you know how, how, um, you can i feel like you see more like i don't know you guys I, tell me what you guys think but i feel like you see more girls like not wanting to break up at the moment like it's bad for them at the moment when the breakup is happening but like later they're like a lot better like they're fine you know but then guys like at the moment of the breakup <laughs> sorry <laughs> why am i so <laughs> sorry, sorry go ahead go ahead but i feel like guys during the breakup like when it's happening they're like fine but later on they're not yeah it's because y'all mentally check out months before you guys break up so then you guys are ready to go and no, like y'all not, not, is, isn't that what not, it is you are not that. listening to me she's saying that in the very beginning of a breakup yeah the guy's okay and the girl is like hurt and then the guy will enter that stage while the girl is oh. now healed so then the guy yeah, comes crawling yes. back Okay. Yes. And I've seen that a lot, actually. Thank you. I I agree with that. I do. I've, I've seen that on multiple occasions. Um, Same. I'm kind of freaked out right now. <laughs> I've, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I guess that makes sense. I guess that does make sense. I I, I can see that. I can see that. Um, do you guys have something to say? Uh, I kind of want to take a side of where he's turn at this. I wanna. I was gonna point out that. Um, no. If someone wants to. Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 I feel like I've seen a lot where, um, like, the breakup happens, and then the reason why the guy comes come going back is because I feel like girls think it's easy for guys to just get at anybody, but then they realize that, like, they only really had that one person that would give them the chance, and they kind of feel like they have that power over them because they like, either dated for so long or, like... The guy feels like they have the power because over them. Because she... Yeah, like... Uh, like, he can go back if he wanted to. He can, but in reality, like, that's not going to fucking happen. I feel like that, like, in general, though, for most guys, um, I want to, like, from what I've seen and, like, I'm just going based off what I've seen, is, like, they would, like, date this girl for a long time and then they would break up and, like, you guys said the girl would heal, but I feel like... From my perspective, what I would see was they would go back because they kind of feel like that girl was in love with him for so long that she would give him maybe that slightest chance. And if it happens, it happens. You if she what? gives him that slightest chance, he thinks he's in. You know what? Does that make sense? No, it does because yeah. I have also noticed how like guys, I think guys do think like that. Like yeah. I can go back if I want to, but I feel like girls, they're more so like, I I, I can't. Like in no, unless they're like extremely wasted. But like, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like it shouldn't be wasted. But like, I feel like girls though, even like sober, there's I can't. Like they, I think they'd rather like sit and cry about it and listen to sad music and be sad than text that guy and seem like the weaker one. You get what I mean? Yeah, I, I I think girls are a lot stronger. 
Yeah. Am I am I tripping on that? Girls are warriors. Yeah. But what's crazy is I don't think anybody in this friend group is like that what? with guys. Like I think we see it. We see people like we see people go through this. Mm -hmm. But like our friend group, like we're not we're not like those guys. Like honestly. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about like, that like stupid. Uh, I think people we now. see around. I've seen that. Yeah. Like I see everybody else, but like in with us, I feel like we're all pretty on the same page of how we deal with certain things gotcha. yeah. and we're not because I, I hear other guys gotcha. say stuff like that like gotcha. oh i could get her if i want or like i'm just mm. gonna go back or i'm gonna text her like we're not that fucking stupid and immature <laughs> yeah like, like, i think we're just like well i don't so do i feel we're, like we're, we're different very... to compared to the people we see yeah yeah, like, yeah i don't know it trips no, yeah. me out when people say that and i'm just like i've come damn fuck? near close though to calling or texting yeah, I'm not, damn, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna throw you a little bit under the bus. Yeah, no, no, but but, but, but I when I called, going. when I called the text though, it was more so for closure. It wasn't to get back. No, no, you did good. Yes. I, okay. I respected okay, okay, the okay, way. Yeah. But but but. Also, <laughs> I was like, because I saw, I was like, wait, hold on, hold no, on. I was, I, was like, like, I, I was lucky, side eye. Yeah, no, no, no that's side. Eye. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yes. It wasn't to get back. Yes. Also. Also. Nate, you keep forgetting. I feel like Sean you, is trying to say like Nipple usually guys. No, no. no. <laughs> Sorry, I got, we're, we're talking. I we're talking about guys that like break up on them on per break up with them on purpose, got knowing you. that they could go back to them whenever they yeah, want. Like, but you're that, not like it, that. It does touch got on you. that point a little bit though, but that wasn't okay. the point I was trying to make. But I I do agree with that. Yeah. I feel like oh. some like people people yeah. I some uh, what? <laughs> no, it's fucking dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We need to be able to blindfold him while we do uh, this. <laughs> I, I agree with what Tati just said. Like, I think it can touch on that where, um, oh, fuck, I told you this last time. She said, you know what she said? She was like, uh, you're, you're, she's like, what'd she say? She was like, <laughs> She's like, she's like, oh yeah, they're like, what you were trying, what I was trying to say. You're like, no, that's not what I was trying to say. You totally. I heard just be like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I said that's not the point I was making, but it does touch on that. <laughs> but she oh only heard, god. she only heard you say, oh she only heard you say, no, no. Oh my god, Maudie. No, I agreed with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I just, that happens a lot too. I, I feel. I like. thought that's what you were trying to say. No, uh, it touches on that. That, that makes I, I am more so <laughs> on that side though of things like of where people break up because they think they can do better and then they're always like, oh, well we dated for like a year or two years and then I can go back. I I, I can see that side. I That's see that so side, but like, what were you trying to add on to? Or you can't uh, remember? Dude, I totally just lost it. I, don't know. I feel like we were kind of just rambling on the same thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah. they intertwine. They intertwine. Yeah. I, I truly wonder if I didn't, like if, if we weren't friends, let's say, cause you usually tell me things you're about to do before you do them. Mm -hmm. And I didn't say some shit to you. I wonder if you would be a little different. Even with me, you give me I advice. Would, I would be very different. Yeah, you give me advice where I'm like, okay, that's smart because they have each other. But I think like when he said, he's like, I'm gonna go talk to her. And I was like, you're not gonna have sex, right? <laughs> I, was told, I was like, do not have sex. And he's just like, yeah, okay. Like, I'm not gonna do that. So I wonder like if you would go down under and you'd be on like on that level. I think I would be a scumbag without you, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I, think, I think I'd be a scumbag without Sean and then just like a, a, this is a degenerate not if I didn't have you guys either like hearing from you guys but yeah for sure for you know sure. what's so crazy though you never listen to my, my advice <laughs> <laughs> it's actually insane like the one time I don't know if you want to put this in but oh god why one, do you always sorry, have to get <laughs> mad deep bro nah but it's just like when we're in New York nah, right okay no don't <laughs> don't, don't. Oh, just leave <laughs> it alone just leave it alone I'ma just say no I, you gotta I, leave it alone just leave it alone Okay, I won't go deep into it, but I'm gonna just say I, <laughs> <laughs> I gave you some good advice. I was like, Nick, trust me, please don't do it. Don't do it. How trust wasted me, don't was do I, bro? And he did it. How wasted was I? He bro? did it. How wasted was I? And the next day he regretted it. And how, I told how, him I told how, you so. How wasted was I? Ten out of ten. Okay. You, you, this, you, this does oh, not count. This is that, that, that one time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was when we were in New York and I was I was twelve out of ten, bro. Like I was nah, not were, on this planet. You I was not. not on this planet. But anyways, um, the original topic was finding um, why can't this generation commit? Oh my god! Did you guys know that? that was it's just everything's topic. different, man. Everything's so different now. Yeah. Like mentality's different. People are way more insecure nowadays. Like yes. overly insecure, which yes. is, I mean, that's just the way it is. And I think that no one wants to, in my opinion, no one wants to commit because, like, I just think that they are so they have like these insane like what do you call it? Not preferences, or um, standards. Standards. Oh, yeah. Standards, you know, and like. That's cool to have your own standards, but I mean, people start those standards when they're like so young. Like mm -hmm. you have to experience like certain situations, I think, and people Definitely. just close themselves off. I think mm -hmm. that is like the biggest thing with 
Do you not feel do that? In your, okay. I do feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so you notice talking. every detail scene. It's kind of crazy. Um, He's on that side. <laughs> I see that a lot, especially with like girls I talk to that are my age that like haven't dated yet, like mm. 23, 22 year olds, you know, that are like, n have never been in a relationship. And like, they have these really, really high standards. And for me, when I approach dating, I never approach it with like, I'm gonna view this person through this lens of my standards because then it just becomes like, you're not even giving this person a chance to show them what type of person you are because yeah. you're putting this like- The bar is too high. You're, you, yeah, you're putting this like expectation of them to like be someone, frankly, that's very unrealistic. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry girls, but your list of everything that this guy needs to have, like not- Above six feet? There isn't one person on this earth that's gonna fulfill every single qualification, unfortunately. Like relationships are about working with people and like you have to be able to be open to just meeting people, you know, like experiencing them. Like that's how I view dating. I view it to go and like meet someone new and get to know them, not as like, oh, can this person be my boyfriend? Because then it's just like so confining. You're putting yourself in this box where you're like restricting yourself to, I can only view this person in this one way. And then you limit the people that you are able to become closer with and develop close relationships with. Yeah. Holy so that was a little bit of a ramble, shit. but Christine, okay. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like you spoke right to me because- Oh, do you go into dating like that? I feel like right now that's me. Like, I feel like my standards are way too high. Like, let's say like somebody, for example, like DMs me, right? And I think he's very attractive, but just because he DM me, in my mind, I'm like, nah, like, he probably DMs a bunch of other bitches. And I don't even give him the chance, you know? Like, you never know, like, if he's actually doing that. Just, like, I realized, like, that just made me realize maybe my standards are a little too high. But isn't it different, though, because she's already dated, so you know what you want? Is Well, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, but, she's, but she's not giving him the like, chance. Yeah, like, she yeah. hasn't even started to be like, oh, this is not what I want. Yeah. She's just like, yeah. no, I don't want to even gotcha. try. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. so it's like, I don't know, like, obviously... <laughs> life is about living and learning and right. in my that's how i view life you know so like for every experience that you have you're just learning like oh, okay like this type of person means this and i know that i don't want this in a relationship or this type of person means this and this person is showing me like that i don't know acts of service is like something that i value a lot but maybe yeah. this person is failing in other categories and you're like okay well i'm gonna be open to the idea that there are other people that will be able to fulfill the rest of the you know wh of what i need to be happy in a relationship but i'm i'm just saying like having a list of standards i feel like is just a, a way to set yourself up for like being yeah, like, disappointed all the time yep mm -hmm. were you gonna say something mm -mm. What, were, what were you laughing about mm -mm. What, what were no, you talking about? Nothing. No, I want to know. No. I, I don't want to know. No, I didn't want to know. I kind of want to know. I want to know. know. It's no, too no, late. No, we stopped the podcast. Not. Huh? We stopped the podcast. You stopped the podcast? Yeah, to ask you what it was. What oh, no, nah, because... No. Nah. I'll show you after. I'll show you guys after. I'll show you after. Nah. It's a TikTok. It's a TikTok. Okay, okay. Um, what were you going to say? I was going to say. Did one of y'all just say, I'm over here? Before I interrupt uh, she, I mean, she nailed it. Okay. I thought I was doing pretty good, but you, you beat me to that. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. What do, you, yeah. um, what do you guys think about, like, people with commitment issues? I feel like this generation has the most commitment issues, yeah, if I'm being agreed. honest. Mm -hmm. Well, because everyone's so in-depth now to, and I don't think that's a bad thing, like, to your emotions, your feelings, what you want. Like, before, I mean, I feel like there was, you just were either this or that. And I'm not talking about, like, gender or something like that. Yeah. I'm just talking about the way, like... I don't know the way you are as a kid, where you are as an athlete, whatever it is. I feel like everybody has, I don't even know how to put it. Yeah, I don't want to say standards. I have no idea where you're going. I don't want to say standards. I have no idea what you're going to say. I'm going to say you're about to get there. You keep circling around. Nah, yeah. yeah. I, I had it and I lost it. Say it one more time and then I'll answer it. What? What did you just say? The question. You oh, said, um, like how this generation. <laughs> How this iteration has like the most commitment issues. I'm okay. like, oh yeah, um, man, that was way off. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you said everyone's yeah, this or that, and I was I like, I'm not talking about race. race. I'm not talking about race. race. I think, I think I heard that question different. <laughs> not race. He said, I'll, said I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you, I'll pay you a hundred dollars yeah, to cut that shit out. I'll no. pay you a hundred bucks. No, zoom in. Hey, zoom, someone, someone make an AI of Spencewa and just put Sean's mouth underneath it. One fifty. One fifty. Sorry, go ahead. Two hundred dollars. Okay, so. Let's. So we're talking about commitment issues. I would say like 
Where's I gonna go with this now? Give <laughs> uh, it ask questions. Is, is it like? So we're talking. What was the first question? <laughs> of like why people can't commit. No, okay. No, no. Why do people not want to commit nowadays? Yeah. Okay. I would say the worst thing for not being like people that can't get in a committed relationship. I feel like it fucks over a lot of people because they're trying. Are they trying? They're, they're not, not, trying, they're not yeah. trying so it's like it's fucking over somebody else that knows oh, they want to get into a relationship but they're cheating them out on time that yeah. they already know hey i can't do this because i can't commit in a relationship whether that means boyfriend girlfriend whether that means i'm talking to you and only you i feel like it's fucked up nowadays because nobody cares exactly and everyone's going or like people automatically assume when they go into like a talking stage or like a dating thing where it's like you're talking to other people i'm gonna talk to other people yeah. and then it just falls out and no one wants to commit no one wants to tell their like how they really feel about somebody that's what you're trying to say yeah. i am fully behind that uh, hmm. people care too much about their ego that's what it is yeah that a lot too 100 percent. i agree with that, that i think lot. this is a generation full of people with giant i egos. feel like we need to get the the Ah, like the 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 periods and the the <laughs> out of this world because it's making yeah. no no I'm not I'm not gonna lie Wait, just what? because no not like not like that not like towards oh. me I'm talking oh. about like I'm talking about like the girls that that are kind of like oh city girls this and like oh. this and that like oh I fucking I'm the shit or like whatever like I guess too like much yeah confidence too much is. confidence or like just too much everything like it's not attractive and at the same time you're not the shit like you gotta realize. That there is somebody else that better is than better you. than you, or not technically better than you, but they are more compatible to be with somebody because they can be a wife, yeah. or they could do these things that you can't do. Yeah. So like, if you're saying, oh, period, like, fuck you, you know what I mean? Like, fuck men, whatever. It's like, yeah, yeah, I guess. But to every single guy in the room, they're gonna be like, that's not attractive, and I'm not gonna go yeah, for that. Yeah, 100. Okay, I might get mad. Uh, I think you no, know, what you're talking about, is like, social media is terrible. It is. Like you get so much information <laughs> off of social media that will probably make you reluctant to commit to anything because you see this type of guy. Yeah. This type of guy does this. This type of guy does that. Yeah. And you probably don't want to get in a commitment with like nobody like that. Yes. But mm, I feel like girls that are usually like, oh, city girls and, you know, hot girl summer type of thing. Like they're not doing that because they think that's attractive to men. I feel they're not like trying to be appealing to men. Sage. They're they're not trying to be appealing to men. Yeah. You know, they're more. I feel like girls that are coming from that wavelength, they're like either hurt from like past shit, so they want to be single. So they're like hot girl summer. You know, like they're mm -hmm. on that wavelength. Well, but not fun. not because they 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 think they'll look better to men. I feel like yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it could become it could come into your regular day habits of like staying in your mindset, your mindset whether yeah. you keep going on. And let's say you're healed. Those messages are always gonna be there. It's never really gonna be and like thrown yeah. out the window. So like those things are gonna come up, and your man's gonna be like, "Wait, what? Like, yeah. what did you just say?" Or like, something is always gonna if affect you in one way or another if you continue to keep doing that. Yeah, it makes people hostile. Yeah, it's like it, it changes everything. I was about to get. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I will say that though. Like, it does make you kind of like. What am I trying to say? Like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Just okay. real quick. Wouldn't you also have, didn't you also say though, because I feel like everyone here at the table, besides I think Devin and Sean and I guess Christine too, like when we had a phase of like going out a lot though, didn't you guys all see the negatives of going out like to the point where like city boy, city girl type stuff, yeah, you definitely. see the op, like your exact mirror in other people and then you realize like, oh shit, people aren't faithful. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh shit, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with this girl who's cheating on her mans. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I feel like, like what Sage said, that really fucks up your mental. Cause then you're like, the club means girls are cheating. You know, like she's here, this girl has a boyfriend and she's here with her six friends who are <laughs> all on some city girl stuff. Whereas before, if you never saw that and your girl said something about like, oh, I'm gonna go to the club. You're not thinking anything of it. With my friends and her friends are all like on their city girl mm -hmm. stuff you're gonna you're whereas somebody who didn't go outside and see mm. girls cheating mm. you're gonna be like oh yeah have fun yeah. but like us seeing it now we're like oh shit can we really trust anybody you get what i mean that that, that are like that basically yeah or have gone through that you know what i'm trying to kind of say oh okay i see there's so many things I yeah couldn't, we couldn't even pin it down man yeah. there's a lot of people who have different preferences <laughs> and stuff like that what do you mm -hmm. think christine mother 
Drop some knowledge, please. I don't know. This is hard because it's like complicated. Like, yeah, I'm trying it's, to think of something that could just pinpoint it. Yeah, but it's like so fucking. Much. No, I actually really want to talk about this because but I, this is gonna go very broad. Though. Because it's I fine. It's fine. It's fine. I understand the whole city girl thing. Like that is like woman empowerment in some ways, and like you know, you're presenting yourself to society however you want, like regardless of the standards. Yeah, yeah. but at the same time, I do see how it can be like destructive to girls and like the way that they approach dating because like especially if you're constantly in like the whole mindset of like fuck all men then like and you're a straight girl who only is attracted to guys like what the fuck are you gonna do then you know like at that point it's like (laughs) maybe go to therapy maybe assess why you hate men so much like there's some misandry going on and wh- where is that coming from mm. you know like because sometimes it can be valid like maybe you've had really ma- awful like male figures in your life that have just done awful things to you but like that doesn't mean that you have to take that and like i don't know spew that wrath on everyone around you you mm. know like because then it just gets like a little bit negative and i feel like that could also negatively impact the way that you view dating when it comes to like seeing these men as people that like are only going to hurt you like you're never going to be able to open yourself up yeah. to the idea of like oh there is someone out there that isn't going to hurt me yeah mm-hmm. now um do you guys think it goes the same way with like dudes on their city boy shit honestly do you guys think it's like the same thing i've heard that <laughs> if, if, a, if a dude huh? says I, 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 if a dude says oh we're on some city boy shit time <laughs> I'm not no, no 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 <laughs> About like, that. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm talking about see what you're saying. I'm saying it's like it's not right, really a so thing I, I anymore. I think I think so. I'm saying I'm saying like dudes that are on the same timing as like yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go out to the club yeah. and just yeah, get mad bitches same. is what I'm trying that to say. Mad annoying. Hey. I'm not. No, I'm not saying like no, no, bro. You're thinking of it. You're thinking of it I'm as the lingo. Of you're thinking. Yeah, I'm not talking about the lingo. Wait, I'm not talking, talking about the lingo. I'm talking about just the the, the same acts like a girl going to the club. Is uh, it the same exact thing? Getting as- fucked up and just getting with hella dudes. Same way. Is it the same thing when a yeah. guy gets fucked up and gets with yeah, hella girls? Yeah, is what I'm trying to say. Thing, it's yeah. the same thing, right? Okay, okay. Just, just cause we keep saying just, city girls. Sorry, I just, I just yeah, no, I, I, I'm talking about like making it into a personality type yes. of thing. I'm not necessarily saying like city girl stuff, but mm-hmm. I'm talking about like when it comes into your mentality and it's gonna it's gonna stay there. When like, you get caught up in it. Yes. Well, you, yeah, can like, have, uh, you can have a night here, a night out. It's okay to joke totally around sometimes. You. you know what I mean? It's like, okay, but don't make it for real. Got you. I feel like when you make it for real, it's kind of mixing what you two said, where it's like you have that lifestyle, you're going out clubbing, yes. but then eventually like you get stuck stuck in it, you see what other people do, yes. and then it just becomes part of your lifestyle where on top of social media, yes. which 90% of people are on probably is, um, like you see everything that Christina also described, and it all just intertwines to where like, what you said is kind of you just have hatred for a gender at some point Mm -hmm. where it's like a bunch of men online saying girls are just I feel like you just stop seeing people as like you stop seeing the other gender as like a person you start seeing I think the persuasion on social media as well that is so common nowadays to why people don't commit is because so many people have this perception that guys are just dogs girls are just hoes and everybody just wants to fuck around and now everybody fears each other because of it yeah most damn the world we live in. I think everyone just needs to get off of the internet sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> especially especially for kids that um probably were born like after 2000, 2002, to like you guys should really spend time off the internet, like spend time with your friends outside. If you don't have friends out like you snowboarding every Friday, man. Huh? If you don't have friends off the internet, I don't know, go to the fucking library, join a sport, like please, like it's like people joke about like go outside to touch grass but go outside to touch grass <laughs> talk yeah, to tomorrow. normal people talk to <laughs> old people tomorrow. talk to all different types of yeah. people because yeah. when you're like life isn't there's like the whole term of like chronically online mm-hmm. going around right but i see it so much mm-hmm. life isn't what you see online you know Max. like you have to like bite your tongue so much you have to be like oh damn like that person is really saying that like you're gonna have a lot of those moments in life but like that is life and that is the same with relationships like tiktok can tell you like guys are gonna cheat guys are gonna be dogs guys are gonna do things behind your back girls are gonna like be whores or whatever tiktok is gonna tell you that but when you actually experience life like you're gonna see that it's not always like that there's not always people like that it's always people that you somehow are connected to on the internet that are 
that so end that up really being that way. Yeah, you that's know, what, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Me too, Christine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so get off the internet, read a fucking yeah. book. Like seriously, like that will help a lot of younger generations' problems. Yeah, yeah. not everyone's gonna hurt you. Period. Yes. Yeah, yeah. guys out there. And there's good women out there too. Yeah. Also, like I noticed through like TikTok, especially it like pushes people to um, certain views, like farther views. Does that make sense? Like extreme views. Extreme views, like more easily. So like men that are hmm, just like stuff that I saw. The like that shit gets the views. Like yeah. the more toxic the stuff, more yeah. toxic, the more entertaining. Oh, it's what you see. Is what you see. Yeah, so yeah, that's probably yeah. what you're gonna see. Yeah, and so like what I realize more is more polarizing stuff. More right. polarizing stuff. So you see all these people like, like my ex. Just he had like very toxic views because I saw his FYP. It was just a bunch of like those podcasts that talk yeah. about. And that's you know, all you hear like all that. day. That's what you Dude, think. That yeah. is all you hear, bro. Yeah. yeah. People talk about. Right. That's why Andrew Tate was such a big issue, young, like no, a while ago, because it's like he has a huge audience, or you know, fuck him, obviously, but like, and he's probably going to jail for the hopefully for the rest of his life. But um, you know, with with shit like that, it's like they have a big audience, and when that type of shit is all on your for you page on your instagram and that's the only type of media that you're consuming like obviously that's going to affect the way that you view relationships mm -hmm. and you view like personal like experiences that you have in your life you know mm -hmm. social media yeah. is not real life please yes. no, for real. Yeah. Yes. that's something i had to realize too disconnect the two yes yeah i've been doing that recently actually so it's cool that we're talking about this i've been like putting down my phone and like doing other shit I feel so much better, y'all. I might get a yeah. flip phone. We should all get a flip phone. Oh, <laughs> so I'll buy a flip so phone for everybody so here. I'm good. <laughs> y'all can do that. I like my, I like my touch screen. But how about we do this? We'll get flip phones and we'll just use it when we go out and hang out are with each other. Are you paying? Are you paying for the, the, uh, <laughs> the, phone the phone you're paying for the, the like, the, what do you call it? The phone plan? <laughs> we don't need a phone plan if it's just like calls, right? So what I'm saying is, yeah, I saw this idea on TikTok. Yeah, you do. Use flip phones to call people you when you go outside phone. or hang out with friends so you don't actually go on social media or other shit you need to get a I don't really do that though actually I don't either I, don't, yeah. I see some of my <laughs> I, I see some of my friends though them, like they're on social media a lot even oh, yeah. when they're outside like you know are. even when they're with friends but. can we take a break yeah we can yeah, take a break it's really a good podcast yeah I like it I'll do, what do you want me to do for you to cut that dumbass part out <laughs> I'll do anything I'll suck your dick anything Sean I'll do anything Ew. you can't take me on the time our dick I want you. Sean, it's okay. I too. So what part are you talking about? I was just saying some dumbass shit. I, I, oh, I, I, oh, you were just rambling. He said, he said, he said, he said, said no, but no, but it, would be, it would be funny if, like, <laughs> we just let everybody be quiet and you doing that. You were just going off, bro. It wasn't even bad. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was funny because it it's, it's, it's funny because you made no sense. You were like, wait, what? You, like, recircled around to it. <laughs> Nowadays, people are this or that. I'm not talking about gender, but. <laughs> But uh, please, I'll pay you five hundred dollars. What was I gonna say? <laughs> I don't know Where were you getting? I'm having deja vu right now. They are like, dude. Deja vu. I, okay, what I was, I think I was trying to do. I'm having major deja vu. That's weird. I said some stupid shit a while ago. <laughs> I feel like before, cut this out because I'm trying to actually make sense of this. You had <laughs> this or that. <laughs> you had that or that. <laughs> I feel but like you're not talking about gender, right? There was men and women. No, I'm just kidding. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know why girls get periods? You want to know why girls get periods? Because because Eve took a bite out of the apple when she wasn't supposed to. And that's why women have pain and bleed. Jesus. It's their punishment. Oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> I don't think that's fine. No, that, I, th I think. Is that in the Bible or why not? Why is this just cost them out? Why the fuck are T Rex's arms so small? Oh, because they fucked hamsters. <laughs> 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 it's because they had no use for them. But yeah, like, why they need that? They just had no use for them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're the fucking. Like, they're the toughest animal on the planet. Weren't they like the yeah. first species? Like, there, was there something? No, before the T fuck no, they weren't the first species. <laughs> no, okay, not very <laughs> first. Not very first, but like, <laughs> they were like, the most evolved they, species they, of they, they, they were like the last. They were in the Cretaceous, so they okay, were the yeah. last. They were that was like the that last. Was, yeah. uh, whatever you call that period. That was the last period of the dinosaurs. They were evolved. You know what we don't need? Alligators. Alligators are the last living dinosaurs, Sean. So obviously we need them. Yeah, we do need them. You em. see the one that killed dogs? I don't want. That doesn't make me happy. I did see that. I don't think I saw one that killed a dog. Okay. Um. 
Where did we leave off? <laughs> that was a committee. Sorry. Huh? Committee. committee. Yes. Okay. So. Are you ready to move on? From yeah. That I question, think. Though? I think we can move on from that. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> you want to try and redeem yourself, Sean? Or are you done? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect if you guys There's don't. No I respect if you, you guys don't want me back on here. I won't come on again. <sighs> I, was, I was waiting. It's okay. <laughs> Have you seen some it's of the stuff okay. I said? Like, <laughs> no one, honestly, no, no one cares. Some of the stuff I said was very questionable. A lot of and stuff. I still let it. I still let it be in there. Even sometimes when I tell Nick to take it out, he doesn't. He's like, "No, I'm still putting it in," and I'm fine with it because you know what? At the end of the day, we're it's all a little people. bit of character. Gives you a little bit of character. Yeah, adds a little bit of spice to your character. That's true. Nah, Nick, you are messed up though. Why? I told you to take something out, and you're like, "This is the game. This is what you signed up for." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! I do remember. I was like, "This is what you signed up for, man. I can't take it out." But yeah, let's move on to the next question. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there a time when it's better for you to not tell someone you like them? Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait! I got confused. Right. Not better to tell someone you like. Is them? there a time? Yeah. Is there just a time when it's not okay for you to tell someone that you like them? Or their family not, member yeah. passes away or something. They're probably not a good time. Well, it's a good point right there. <laughs> after they get into a relationship with someone else. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That, uh, after what? they get married, like after they get in a relationship with someone else, or during their wedding, like what are like, you let's doing? Say I have, oh. I have a, let's say I have a crush on you, and then you get into a relationship, and, and then you tell me you like me. Yeah, nah, I can't. What about that's weird? That's fucked Jim up. and Pam. Jim Pam was different though, because she was engaged for like five years, and that guy was a piece of shit. So is it okay? Roy. Yeah, then it's okay. So. If, if you visually see that the woman is not happy in the relationship, I think it's okay for you to swoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous. Wait, That's wait, 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 wait. Was that outrageous? <laughs> you're, you're in the clear now. <laughs> I think I think Wait, it, it was just a very I, like I, I think you said it wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. You you said it, but you didn't you didn't elaborate too much. Like you, <laughs> she, she got to be sad for a long, long time, or like she's like if there, <laughs> Chrissy, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> if there is a if 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 you like a girl so and you have liked her for a year and 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 then she's in a really really bad relationship, like you can see that she is not happy. Like she's. Ba like dark baggy circles around the eyes, always stressing. Okay, go, tell me, tell me. I'm, okay, I'm yeah, the girl, yeah, I'm, I'm the girl. Wanna, okay, I'm the girl. yeah, he's go. the girl, I'm, I'm gonna give you, you are, you know that this woman right here is the love of your life, Okay. Ever, and you know that you wanna spend the rest of your life together. Sage is about to get married tomorrow, kinda cold feet. Oh. Oh. That's oh, what you just said. Man. You said if they're if they're Wait a hey, whoa, who's that? <laughs> whoa, who's <laughs> it? I'm engaged right now. Okay, engaged. Yeah, I'm not getting married tomorrow. Well, I'm pretty sure she was gonna get married. In no, the show. she was. She she was engaged. No, she was gonna get. He said in the show, he was like, "Let's do this wedding." Blah 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 blah. Yeah, they were supposed to, and then it never happened though. I think he like he messed up on the wedding date. Is that what happened? Yeah, because okay, they were on the fine. boat, and then okay. anyways, anyways, Sage is engaged for five years. He seems a little unhappy. You know, he's the love of your life. Okay. <laughs> is he uh, just? Is it just regular hangout? Is he crying about his girlfriend or like? Kind of like no, no, he just kind of. You guys are going out. Wait, I'm the girl. What are you talking oh, about? You saw, yeah, are you yeah. crying about your boyfriend? <laughs> are you crying about your boyfriend to me? Yep. No, okay. You guys go Not out. To you, I'm just. You guys, oh, you're just crying. Okay, ready. <laughs> you, know, you guys go out. Hold on. And you realize, like, you have that time. You look into his eyes, and you're like, "This is the person I want to spend okay, the rest yeah, of my life with." Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, action. <clears throat> so, what are you sad about? He's not sad. I'm yeah, sad. he is. I'm sad. I'm yeah, sad. he's oh, sad. Yeah, he's he's sad. sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you sad about? I don't know. I really love this guy, and he's the love of my life. I don't think he's good for you. <laughs> I think that this guy was probably the single worst decision you've ever made. He's all I want. He's all you want. Well, he doesn't want you. And obviously you see that because he hasn't fully committed to you for the past five years. He cheated last night. <gasps> Three times. You're just going to say that? <laughs> I'm totally going to gaslight. I would totally gaslight. No, I'm sorry. But sometimes no, people please. need a push to <laughs> realize what's wrong. I will lie. I would lie. I would lie, bro. That same I'm, thing was done crazy. to you. A complete lie. <laughs> yeah, and it broke your heart. What if so your girlfriend you left you because some guy was like, hey, he's not that good for you? Hey, if I wasn't and treating her right, so my fault. If I wasn't cheating right, my fault. <laughs> but I'm he's saying. lying on your name, though. He's no, saying that Nick is a cheater. Bro, I'm just saying, I'm saying, some people <laughs> need a that, push. He calls that pushing. <laughs> so completely <laughs> lying. You literally said that. He was and you know what? And you know what? Guess what? We're going to get married. We're going to have five kids, live in a great house, and one day, he's going to find out, or she or whatever, he's going to find out, or she's going to find out that 
I lied and she's gonna be like, you know what? I'm happy that you lied. don't know. That's that's see that's no, that's invalid. That you nah, can't she say would that. probably be really mad. No, nope. she'd be mad as fuck. So, she can't be. Okay, she has my kids. Okay, so you pushing though? That's <laughs> like, you, you already lied. wrong before, but that makes it really wrong. You just no, lied on this person's right? behalf. <laughs> Okay, if I'm being so dead ass, like I'm okay, not, I'm you're not even telling me you're I'm not okay. Playing around. You're okay with her being like, like some other guy swoops her, and you're saying, you know what, you weren't treating her right, and then you find out she goes, yep, and you cheated on me three times, and you're gonna be like, I never fucking cheated on you. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Obviously, in my, in my, in my, what do you call it? Situation. Situation. If a dude lied on my name, I would be mad. But. <laughs> it's gonna be a fair game. So dead ass for me though. Okay, I would probably wouldn't say. I probably wouldn't say cheat. Game's the game. I probably wouldn't say cheat, but I feel like I would. I would definitely exaggerate. I feel like I would exaggerate how bad this guy is. You'd be like, to her. She, so she's like, he cheated on me. I'm like, well, he would. <laughs> he would technically cheat on you. If you save her another three months, I promise you'll cheat on you. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would say something like that. Well, not technically. Completely. <laughs> like he did really cheat, but he would I, cheat. I, 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 I think he cheat. But um, what's it called? I, I okay. Back just to the the main part of I guess that tangent. <laughs> of I do think it's okay for a guy to kind of swoop in if he sees a girl that he likes a lot is unhappy. I genuinely think that's okay. Now you're external. You're not inside this group anymore. You're, you're not like, inside. Am I tripping, guys? It yeah. have to be like out of a movie type thing. Like reverse like, notebook. You, you like are literally, you've been in love with this girl for three years. If she, someone lied and said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not, the, not the line part, not the, not the line part. Yeah. You've been in love with this girl for three years. Um, She's been dating this guy for two years, right? And you just visibly see that she is not happy, bro. Like she's losing weight. Like she's, you know, this guy's a bad person. Like you see him, maybe we go outside. He's not cheating, but like you know, he's talking to girls. Like you flirting with girls, stuff like that. You're telling me that you wouldn't just be like, you know what? Like, I don't really think he's a good for you. What's wrong? I'm just saying. saying well, like, that's that's different from. Hey, not she's gonna not, cheat. Not, not cheat. Not cheat. Not cheat. Not that far. Not that far. Not that far. So yeah, if you, I, uh, if you're just like, I just have to tell you now because I need to say this because I think you're the love of my life. I think that's okay. And you're just, but you're not, but that's it. You can't push. Yeah. yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think that's okay. The way I you word it, I think is that's fine. okay, Sean. Yeah. But yeah. Nick, I know you want to say more shit after that. <laughs> yeah, she's probably gonna be like thinking about it, and that's what Nick needs to push to get her answer. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but also, know. like, I feel like as a girl, if a guy came in and did that to me, he would be like the last person that I would want to date next after I break up with my with my boyfriend do you know what i'm saying if a guy yeah, came up and like yeah. admitted yeah. to you that he like like he was in love with you and he was also saying like you should not be with this guy but what if he wasn't saying like you should be with me and he just said like i, I love you but i don't think this guy is for you i don't know if that would still make me like him mm. enough to like be like okay then let me date you next what's like blocking you, know? you from dating him is it just because you're just like what if you guys spent a fantastic day together almost like you guys felt like you were together and then he drops it on you well why would i be hanging out with him like that because you're sad about your current man. My, and, just and, he, and maybe he did flirt with a girl last night. So you're like, you know what? I want to spend the day with my homie. I want to spend the day with my homie. <laughs> pick it up, man. Jesus Dude, Christ. It fucking sucks. <laughs> just pick it up. What like is, there you go. Lock it in. Lock it in. Floppy penis, dude. The shit keeps <laughs> just lock it in. There you go, dude. Was that so fucking hard? I don't know. I twist the wrong way sometimes. You're such an idiot, man. Anyways. <laughs> I'm um, an idiot. What's, Mr. Pusher. <laughs> what's blocking you from like wanting to be with him if he just admitted that? Is it just weird to you? I guess because like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did hear that. It's oh, wow. stomach. That's mine? Yeah, that was your stomach. That was yours. Was yours. No, I heard it from over here. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't know. It would just be weird. Like, why are you meddling in my relationship? One, like two, I don't even know. Like, how cl how well I do I know the this guy? You know this guy. Like, you guys have been like almost like besties. Work besties. Like, work besties. Work besties. Like, okay, work besties. Okay, 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 okay. Like you. But the thing is, if I have been best friends with him for that long and I haven't dated him yet, yeah. it's because I'm not into him. But what if it's because you've been in this relationship for so long though? Like you've been in a three year relationship with this guy. But I've known this guy. But I've known this guy that's trying to break us up for what, like six years? No, let's say the same amount of two years. You've known this guy, <laughs> two years. and you've been in the relationship for three. You're talking about like why wouldn't you leave the guy before any of that? It would even happen. Is that what you're saying? Like you would already have left him to be with that guy if you found him attractive. 
Holy I, shit, I'm so I guess. Yeah. 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 I got I can see, I can see I that. What do, you, okay, what, do you, what do you think? What would you do? Let's say you have the best day with this guy and you are not happy with your current relationship and he says, you know, like today was probably one of the best days of my life and I love you. And yeah, you are the love of my life. And I don't think you and should I just need, and I just need you to know that boom, he stops. I would appreciate him telling me um, that the guy has been flirting with other people and is not a good boyfriend. I would appreciate that. Probably break up with the guy. No, if if I knew he was a shitty man, but I wouldn't give the guy who told me a chance because wow. why is that though? Because like, do you think I'm gonna go from being engaged with this dude to falling in love with this other dude right away? Like, no, Movies I'm gonna take my time real. and heal. I'm gonna take my time. Okay, 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 take your time and heal. But do you think you would never be able to get with that guy though? Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. That's what um, she's saying. She's saying never. I want to say never, just because I don't fucking know. Life is crazy. It throws shit at you. Maybe I'll fall in love with him. But I'm saying, like, I will not go not right give him a chance this. right away. So what if you guys were deeply in love with this person who was in a terrible relationship? You don't think you'd ever admit your feelings? Not once, not even in a special moment. In a t- if she, if no. she was in a terrible relationship, I probably would. I'm talking about the girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we already know. We so already know you it. fucking would. So blunt with it. <laughs> no, I don't think I would. I don't think I would too. Just because it's like, what if he, what if he's like works with you and you see him every day? Also, I don't think I could fall in love with somebody that's already in a relationship. No matter how attractive he is, I don't think I'd be able to one let myself even feel that. Now, two, <laughs> some sharp ass nails. Put down. myself in a situation where like I could fall for him more if like I was attractive to him in exactly, the first place before like part. knowing he had a girlfriend. Yeah, so like I wouldn't even be in that situation. So I don't have an answer for you. Love isn't real. Do kidding. you guys think that? Okay, you guys? No, I don't. I don't really know. Nick's Nick's whole point of view is just making me laugh. Oh, ass off. not that. I was gonna ask. Oh. Do you guys think that like? I would never guys, fall for someone in a relationship. Yeah. No, I would not do that. It's I impossible. think it'd be very rare. Right. I don't like it. The only situation I could think of is working with them, where I see them every single exactly. day, mm-hmm. and then eventually like. But there have to be like some like, sort of like I'd have to. She'd have to like. You'd have to know her before she got into, into that relationship. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But that even that, questions. though, like, even that, you mm. knew them before and you had, like, some sort of, like, attractiveness towards them or you had some sort of feelings towards them, but they got in a relationship. I feel like I would just, like, either distance myself. I, if, it, if I saw them every day, I feel like that's the only situation that, like, would be where I would be, like, I'd still like them a lot or be in love with them. Mm. So you would tell okay. them. Okay. If they were in a bad relationship. If they, if, but I am a firm believer in like if you like somebody no matter how many years and they're in a relationship and it's a happy relationship you should not say shit like you should just right hold your tongue you're a firm believer yeah. cause that's selfish <laughs> Jesus Christ no that's nah, crazy he, he, that is very yeah. selfish <laughs> Nick's wild bro and honestly I feel like you truly don't Sorry. love the person <laughs> if you would do that do you remember when you made an outlandish statement and you were like ah, it was about you know who just say it, just and then we'll cut no, it. No, wait. We'll bleep yeah. it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what I said, but no, I remember saying something like, you were, like, you were, you were like, you were like, you were a home wrecker, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you were like, he said, he said, it's, I was it's, so it's her fault. You know, like, something, the guy, or I don't know. No, like, I know what you're talking about. We'll bring it up after the podcast. It was a question. It was a question. It was a question. It was a question. It was, it was, wasn't it just, would you, I I said it was, it was okay for me to, to hook up with somebody who's in a relationship if they want to get with me. Yeah, yeah that's isn't that what I said? That's what you that's said. What that's what you yeah, said. Yeah. Do you still stand on that, or has your views changed? I don't stand on it anymore. <laughs> I was At the time, it's not my fault. She wants <laughs> yeah. to get with me. That's on her. I'm part of it. Yeah, bro, that's wild. Yeah, no, nah, I don't stand on it anymore. You'd not be a little that's filthy that's whore. That's what I'm saying. Dude, that was a good impression of me. That's yeah. exactly <laughs> that what I said. Exactly that's exactly what I said. <laughs> that is exactly uh, to, what I said. To end off, if you admitted, and she gives you the the response Christine said, I can't believe you'd say this to me. You're ruining my whole relationship. Would you just be like, I'm just kidding. I just pray. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got I don't think I could recover like that. That would be funny, though, if I tried to. But nah, I think I'd just be like, you know what? It then we can't. Really, all right. Your Live lost. your shitty life. Yeah, your loss. Shitty ass boyfriend, huh? He's walking at me all petty and shit. Yeah. But next not. time next time he cheats, I'm not telling you. I'm going to encourage him. <laughs> I'm gonna be right there with him. <laughs> what was the original question? Anything original? Was it something that you asked? What was it? Um, is there a time when oh. it's better for you to not tell someone that you like them? I think we answered that. I think Nick Yeah, was... just, just not in, if they're in a relationship, don't say anything. 
But I mean, do you guys have any other times that you probably shouldn't? I think that's yep. like if you value your friendship more, that because sometimes it could really ruin mm. the friendship. Yeah, like really think about it. Yeah, if you're True. unsure, don't fucking say it then. Don't yeah. say it yeah. Yeah. unless yeah. you know they're a hundred percent or ninety nine motherfucking percent into you as well. Then okay, and that's if fine. you're intoxicated. But sometimes, hey, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah don't do Liquid that. confidence, liquid baby. confidence that you don't even yeah. want. Yeah. But sometimes the difference is that I've noticed with like friends though is like you can have crushes on your friends and that's when you should not tell them like you know how like crushes come and go like a week two weeks yes. but yeah. like i think i think though if you like your friend for like a year or two. a year or two and like at some point you kind of have to tell them otherwise yeah. you're just going to keep fantasizing yeah. about it you're going to keep thinking Dude. like oh maybe you get what i mean i think that at that point you, you can and i think that you know it's probably going to ruin the friendship but it's probably better for you to realize that you don't have a chance mm. but uh, like crushes like in a week or two weeks, yeah, definitely keep that shit to yourself. A month or two, keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how would you say um, you you could tell for the people watching between like the difference between a crush and like you actually liking them? If you if you like genuinely have liked them for like a year or two. Oh, like, so like timing. Yo, definitely okay. timing. Yeah. Definitely timing. Because crushes, because crushes come like cr crushes come like hard and fast. Like they can mm. do something out of nowhere. And you're like, holy shit, like they're actually like really attractive. Mm -hmm. And you can think like that for like two weeks and you can think that this is gonna last forever, but really it doesn't. Mm. Then you see them chewing with their mouth open and you're like, you know what, never mind. Mm. That's so specific. Yeah. I've been hit with that. <laughs> Jeez. A lot of the stuff that I talk about I've been hit with. Just in case <laughs> you guys didn't you know. You're a victim. Yeah. But New that's, Year's, that's New Year's Night. Really that's a good one. New Year's Night. With uh Adele. No for love. Oh, oh, and then you went out. You went to the movies, and you're like, yeah, no, nah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah. I forgot about that. Um, liquid. <laughs> next question. That liquid confidence is next negative. question. Um, how do you start breaking bad habits from past relationships? By experiencing them again and trying to change. <laughs> I think mm, that's a good question. There's a thing I saw about healing that was like, there's two stages, one that you do while you're single, and then the second one that you do in a relationship. And I think that is very true because there's some things that you just can't figure out that you have like a wound from unless you're in a personal intimate relationship with someone, especially like childhood issues, like, you know, parent issues with your parents or whatever. Stuff like that really comes forward when you're in a relationship with someone. And I feel like that is the different type of, healing that you have to do the second stage of healing that you have to do i don't know if anyone else can relate to that yeah i thought you did you have something to say i think you had something to say mm, i'm trying to think about a little bit it of tough love to yourself no yeah that part you gotta go even if you don't if you know something's good for you mm -hmm. but you don't want to go that way because you want to be selfish i think you gotta be a little tough on yourself no does that not make sense? No, I don't. I, 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 get, it, I get it. I get it. I get it. I didn't really get that. Can you please repeat it for me? Damn. <laughs> fucking over two, bro. Run it back. Oh, okay, Run it back. I want to hear Devin talk for a little bit. Please talk. Please talk. Yeah, I'm fucking secondhand high from Christina Lee. Dude, I was like, why am I low key like Why am I chest low key tight? Dude, I'm in Tony out on these. I've been like tripping out on these fucking colors. Like, they're beautiful. Um, it's been a while, bro. Um, what was the question? <laughs> How to recover from like bad habits? Get out of bad habits from toxic relationships. From toxic relationships. You just gotta go head first into the new relationship. I, and just I would deal say with them. it starts with the healing stage after the breakup. Obviously, mm -hmm. you learn a lot by yourself. No matter what it is, I feel like you bring that new learning period into your next relationship. You learn more about yourself. So I would say it starts right there. And then when it bec something becomes a problem, what are you laughing at? Myself, bro. I'm just yeah. stupid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm hearing back what I said. I'm like, oh, my God. So then um, I would say um, to fix or to try to fix at least. Um, <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a major, major stage right now. <laughs> I keep losing my fucking train of thought, dude. Okay, what was the question? <laughs> I'm gonna no, take no, it no, away. No, no, I'll take it away. Repeat the question. It'll pop back in. I swear to God. One more time. How Ooh. to get out How of bad do we habits? Break bad habits from unhealthy. Break bad habits from unhealthy. Unhealthy relationships. All right, let me shut up. So the. Ha <laughs> 
I think. I mean, you can totally hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. You're high. <laughs> I forgot the question keep... too. Okay. Do hold you guys on. do you guys think it's inevitable to bring uh, past traumas into your new into a new relationship? Do you guys I think, think somehow it's always way, gonna yes. have, you always bring it? There's yes. like no always. way to avoid it. Yes. Uh, whether it's a little bit or a lot, you bring some aspect of it right. into it. Got you. Yeah. Even but, if you're completely healed from the last relationship and everything, you think that you still have yeah. to. Yes. Yeah. It's just like baggage is always there. But I think being aware of it and being aware of it when it's happening taking a step back oh no i'm doing this again oh, being like oh well they're not this guy though yeah got you and then fixing it at that moment yeah yeah do you think sometimes it takes somebody takes the guy to be like i'm not like your last man for you to realize it yeah you should realize that yourself but do you but think sometimes like you need that extra nudge where it's like i'm, I'm not like your last man like you don't need to worry about this or like you don't need to you gotta need oh yeah it. that would definitely help a lot got you Dude, I keep forgetting the fucking question. I know. I, well, can you repeat it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. What, do you, what are things that you can do to start breaking bad habits from past relationships? Okay, you guys don't need to answer. You don't need to I'm answer. No, I'm not. I, I Break to be bad quiet. habits from past relationships. <laughs> if you don't have an answer, it's okay. No, it's like abusing me. I don't know why. It's okay. To break. <laughs> Hold on. Break bad habits. <laughs> From old relationships. How do you break bad habits from old relationships? <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, that they answered it by just saying yeah. you just gotta get in like a new relationship and work through it. It's really what, yeah. New relationship and work no, through no, it. Why can't you work not, through it on no, your own? No, 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 no. no, no I'm saying know. that there is you there oh, obviously two is parts. uh yes, there's a by yourself healing stage and then there's a second part and that second part only comes if you're able to do what Madhu said, which is you if you're able to in the moment when you're like triggered by something or whatever, step back and be like Oh wait, this guy isn't like the other guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the second stage of healing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, that, yeah. You saw, you said you saw, you saw that, or you read about that? I saw it somewhere on TikTok, Got but you. I see it myself in my own relationship too. See, TikTok isn't all that bad. Yeah, it's not awful. Mm -mm. Man, I do feel good being off of it. Are you not on there right now? Like I go there for like an hour max per day. I used to be on there fat. That shit. An fuck hour with my mental. max a day on TikTok is very crazy. I'm on there like seven hours. I know. <laughs> but I am. I am deep. Easy, in that. Oh, I see. I see some drama. I am deep uh, in the okay, they true, clicking true. up usernames Dude, and everything. <laughs> going down the rabbit hole is crazy oh, on TikTok. Jesus Christ. You could spend like eight hours doing that Dude, shit. Last night I got a TikTok of this girl crying and she was like, guys. Me and so and so are dating and I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? Is it the is it the uh <laughs> She looks like an uh, islander or something like Hawaii? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah and she yeah, went yeah. that one dude. Like that one, oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. who the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, like he cheated, right? Or some shit like some that. Some shit like yeah, that, bro. Yeah. Clicked on it and I was like, Oh, so this Wait, is the guy. And then it was like I clicked the guy and then it's a whole feed of like them dating. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? I was probably searching like for 30, 40 minutes trying to find out why they broke up. It was, it's crazy, nah, dude. No, that's just wild. It's because of the new update where you can click on the, it shows like the recommended. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, TikTok knows what they're doing, bro. Like, do. you can, you know, you can click now down to the video you just watched off of a profile. Like, it says, you oh, click yeah, on yeah, the profile, yeah. it says just watch, yeah, and you click it. Yep, I watched a, I'd say half of a movie on TikTok. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, God, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll never watch it. Like, I'll never yeah. put it on the TV, yeah. but I'll that watch it on TikTok. That so crazy. Bro, bro it's so I bad. watched, like, 17 parts to oh, watch yeah. the whole movie. Fuck yeah. yeah. Isn't that yeah, so stupid? Crazy. Like, it's literally on Netflix or Hulu, and we just go watch it. You know what's crazy, though? I saw a TikTok where someone was like, oh, I stopped watching TikToks because I don't remember the last like five TikToks I saw oh, no, I was scrolling down I tell you and that. I tried to think and I was like oh it was this one and I scrolled up like 10 TikToks and I was like holy shit I don't remember what I just watched <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> that, dude I'm telling you if you if you do it just one time I'd be like okay Ow. <laughs> so you have a phone Guys, I felt yeah. the vibration I'm not gonna lie like I feel like part of it as to why it's so addicting is also the comments Oh, like yeah. that shit is mad funny. The comments, no, the, the, so funny. the comments are very funny. It's only TikTok comments. If you think about it, Instagram comments don't have me laughing like that. Like, mm. nah, <laughs> Instagram comments are terrible. Instagram comments are suck. Instagram comments are usually hate comments. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. No yeah. plus ratio. Is it? Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. TikTok or Instagram comments are literally every time you click on it, the most liked is just hating on a video or something like that. Why are you post this type of content? Or yeah, like, like this is stupid. Lol. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Why I wonder what those people look like. Easy to draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He took my joke. 
I was giving you credit with okay, the fist bump, you. man. Damn. Okay, not, not even that. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're high to you. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, also, like, they're on private. Mm. They're always on private. The haters. It's like... Oh, they just don't post you uh, you want to go on there and say some mean shit to them? You would. Really. No, I just want to see yeah, what they would. look like. You know Send what I DM. mean? You, you would There's a reason you're on private, loser. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're mm. ugly. I don't think You won't even let me see what you look like, ugly. <laughs> To this day, I have not um, replied to any hate DMs, hate comments, anything. I don't feel right now is what I, I, I'm out of reality. Like, I don't Shut, feel what I'm doing Shut, Christine got us all high. You know that, right? <laughs> she got us all high. I'm faded. That's what it is. She got us all high, bro. That's why I say blow that way. Wait, Christine, I think, I think so, you guys. I feel like a little weird. <laughs> because Devin's not even talking, bro. Look at Devin's I, eyes. No, Devin's <laughs> eyes are like you got us all high, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, I do not feel like I'm in touch with reality Wait, right Devin, now. Wait, Devin, your eyes are super red. Like to the point where like- They're dry. I'm... Oh, okay. I got eye drops one of by the way. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope you're happy. Do you mean to do this? This pen is 97%. What does that even mean? 90% weed? <laughs> What's the other 3%? 99% high! What's the 3%? <laughs> Let me read it. What's the other 3? 99% marijuana. Yeah, what is the other 3? I'm curious. Pesticides? Percentage of THC. Percentage of THC. It's like pure, like pure vibe, right? Pure like vibe. Like okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Guys, we can do, I say we do one last question, and then we <laughs> nah, wrap man, it the we fuck up. Okay. Okay. The last question is an easy yeah, question. Yeah, we'll keep oh, it light. God, Jesus. But yeah, dude, you definitely got us high on this side, too. Yeah. I know um, a lot of us don't smoke, but can we please do a 421 just just for the yeah, people? We can do one, like, um, maybe one of you guys' YouTube channels, or, like a stream Literally. or something like that. Okay. But. It's so bad. I can't, if I'm faded, I cannot, like, speak. It's, yeah, me I'm too. I'm so bad. <laughs> me too. That's well, why I'm just, like, just going to be sitting here and no one's going to be talking. Quiet as fuck. <laughs> But, oh my god, bro. <laughs> but sometimes I be thinking of some crazy shit when I'm high. <laughs> Your phone is falling crazy. I know. That first time though, Devin, where you're like, I don't know, I'm high as shit for Christine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to have that Dude, I've been so not the past 45 minutes. So she keeps smoking that shit. I can't <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, this has happened to us, like, I think twice now. Christine, this has happened twice now, bro. <laughs> It was worse when her and Cynthia would smack that <laughs> shit. Yeah, Vico, it's only one of us. Oh my god, god damn. damn. Right. Dude, your face is so funny, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. Last okay. question. <laughs> how many kindergartners? Right <laughs> how, many, how many kindergartners can we take in a fight? Oh, Devin, oh. I, I, Devin I want you to answer Dude, I would be fucking filthy in a fight against kindergartners. <laughs> how like, high are kindergartners in my knee? Or higher than my knee. On average. How, how tall are they? Look at the average height of a kindergartner. Like three feet, I think. Yeah. To your knees? That's like a that's like a dog. Why is like it way too short? It's like an infant. This is like an oh. infant. Kindergarten uh, is a tell you were a <laughs> <laughs> average kindergarten. <laughs> 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 do the thing. Oh do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> three oh feet God. nine inches. The average height of a kindergartner is three foot nine. <laughs> Forty-seven pounds. <laughs> have a light motherfucker. Oh, maybe a little, <laughs> maybe a little <laughs> short. No, 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 I have okay, am I am I in a ring or can I like run around and take one of them? Is it is it on a field? Like You're a in a coliseum. Okay, so the question oh, the I question is what is the number of kindergartners yes. that you can take on? They're coming um all around you in a circle. It's not like straight at you. It's not straight at you. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go thirty. Fifteen. Wait, by yourself or 15. I'm Fifteen. By yourself. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> all, all they come all around me. Fifteen, yeah. I feel like you just gotta like flick them in the head and they, if, I have, if I have a cup know? on, fifty. <laughs> yes. If I have a yeah. cup on, fifty. <laughs> if one of them grabs my wiener and like really squeezes it, I'm I'm folding, bro. I'm like if I have a cup on, fifty for sure. They can headbutt you too. Just full on ram you. <laughs> if, if I'm running, if I'm running God forbid circle, they have your head. I'm fucked. If I'm running a circle, I can t I can take on. Oh yeah, if you can run if around, if I can run around and smack one as I go, I can I can take him down. Like that yeah. one app and the ads where he's running and just slapping everybody. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, as long as I have a cup on, dude, I think we could do some serious damage. No, I'm trying to be realistic because my hands are going to start hurting after I drop at least six of them. <laughs> I'm not using my hands, bro. I'm, using my, I'm, kick, I'm kicking them. I'm kicking them. You, 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 you could kick them with the sole of your shoe. You want to but, like, they're not... They, okay, they realistic. They're not... Out, are we killing them? What are we doing? <laughs> okay. Gotta knock them out. You can't kill them, but you gotta, you, you gotta put them down. No, no, hi, yeah. You gotta knock them down. Just knock dude, them down. Dude, this motion is going to get me fucking tired. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. No, you guys see my leg. Oh, dude, I'm thinking this. <coughs> I'm going up. Fucking knee. Oh, oh. Nah, your knee's gonna yeah, be killing you. Yeah, but how many of those you, you got? Knee, That's a long time no. ago. No. no, how no, many, no. Dude, you're hitting yeah. chins. You're hitting <laughs> chins, bro. <laughs> and they're going out. Nah, bro, you're gonna Charlie. You're gonna get a Charlie horse. You're gonna, you're gonna get a Charlie horse. Yeah, yeah, the, six, way, yeah, yeah. the best way is lean back in the sole of your shoe. Just like, just hitting him with the sole of your shoe. Like in the face. I think I, I don't think, think they're knocking out because of that, here. though. They just knocked down. Oh, knocked oh, down. <laughs> but they're knock. gonna get back up. And no, go. we just That's said knocked down. They no, got no, knocked no. down. Knock out is different than knock down. Alright, dude, if we're really talking about <laughs> knocking the masses out, I'm taking on four max. Because then I'm gonna be fucking tired. Do you think you can grab one and like throw it into a crowd? Yes. That's what I'm thinking about. The first couple are going. They're Grab going by that. me grabbing yeah. by the head, no. you know, grabbing one by the leg and swinging him around, <laughs> swinging his ass around oh, like a shield. Are, are they coming at you at the same time, yes. or is it one by? Okay, no. same time. Mario, I'm, st I'm, I'm seeing a one v one for you. Mario, one v one for sure. One v one. And you're running away the entire time. No, no, no. no. I Can think... I see a punch? Throw a punch. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're gonna clown me in the comments. I will, I will give you five. I'm giving you two. If like an overweight kindergartner ran at me, I would get knocked over, you yeah, know? Yeah, honestly, I'm saying 1v1 possibility. Like, the, <laughs> average, the average weight of a kindergartner is 50 pounds. Think about that. That's the average weight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 47, 47 like 17 pounds. pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like a good 10 pounds. 47 pounds. Wow. Like, think about how... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And so like... Uh, if let's say there's a a, a, a so kindergartner that's average? a little bit taller, you know, and they're <laughs> so a little yeah. heavier. You got it. It's like the I'm boss kindergarten. Yeah. Are those American <laughs> kindergartners though? Because American kindergartners though are a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah. are they from New York? Beefy. They're that Texas. Texas are they from New York? Sure. Then we're all screwed. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, imagine the boss kindergartner comes in. He's like six four. <laughs> the fucking bully. Yeah. He's up. Knock your ass out right now. <laughs> He's Wait, English where's joke. my lunch money? <laughs> Could you imagine? How do you guys imagine the bully to look like? Oh my God. They always got freckles. Like Sean. <laughs> they always got freckles? They always got Could freckles. You imagine? Okay, like, like, let, let me see. If I'm Kyle, <laughs> let's say, let's say they're all Kyle Kirkland when at, he was a kid. Oh, I'm taking zero. Three. I'm taking three. Kyle Four, Kirkland. Kyle. Kyle. I, no, no. When he was when he was a kindergartner. No, no. Kyle when he was a kindergartner because he was still he was he was a he was a uh, he was a beefy boy. Kyle still had biceps in kindergarten. Yeah, he had biceps in kindergarten. Kyle was yeah. bigger than me. I'll now. take like maybe three. Was Luke three tall in kindergarten? <laughs> Yeah, but Luke Luke has bad balance. Like you could knock. Yeah, him Luke, you could knock. Him <laughs> like out Kyle was an agile cheetah. That yeah. dude will knock you out. So. I'm taking three Kyles on when he was in kindergarten. I think five. I'll take five max. I'm taking half of one. Huh? Kyle, half of one Kyle. <laughs> half of one Kyle. I don't think I could do one Kyle. Yeah, I'm gonna say all together regular size kindergarten fifteen. Uh, what are you clocking in at? Regular size. No special abilities. I think I'm being realistic. I. I'm mad. I'm fucking at least like 25, 30 up. <laughs> I'm thinking the same. Know, know, know. I'm, I'm fucking them up. That's then, crazy, bro. You just. I want to hear your answer <laughs> realistically. Okay, wait. We should go around the table. Like a kindergarten, all of us say the number. Okay. So kindergarten sage. Oh, kindergarten sage. Yeah. Like uh, go around. That's each a person. big head. Just, oh wait, what are you talking about? Really big head. Kindergarten Christine's. <laughs> Give me like how oh, many? 30, oh, how many you taking on? Oh, Christine? Yeah, go all 35 out. 35 or 40, at least 50 on all. <laughs> okay, good at that point, at that point it's just how tired I get. Go down, go down. At that point, it's just how quick, tired quick, I get. Quick, quick, quick fire. What quick I know fire. from what he looked like, I'll take about 30. Quick <laughs> fire, quick you fire. You are skinny. I'm going to do 30. I'm going to do 30. You can probably go, just do this. You'll break my arm. <laughs> I'm going to do 30. I'm going to go 45, Nick. Okay. <laughs> I had a big head, bro. I, say, I had a head? big That's head. That's why I get one of you, and I'm swinging that one, bro. Bro, I That's used a to, lot of weight. Bro, bro, I used to hit my head on the wall when I was little. I That's used to what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I can pick you up attention? and like I can swing that that John hell. You know what? If you get one of me, yeah. Yeah, that's that yeah. is true, Mar Nick. Mar also, Mar you could just go for the head. Mar and how big was your head when you're like? Was it kind of the same or not? How tall was she when she's in kindergarten? I didn't know her. I'm not gonna lie. I used to be kind of chubby. She's a immigrant. Chubby, chubby, and like, what's your stature looking like? Like mine. Yeah, how tall are you? No, 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 no. How tall are you? 
I would say fucking average, average, average height. Know. Average. Just give her average. Give her average. Three average feet. Three feet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Three feet six inches is. <laughs> Take about sixty models. <laughs> you take more modern than her. Oh yeah, I forgot. Were you angry as a child? No. Were you like this as a child? Oh, 40. You, no, 40. wait, can I just say something? I, I used to be an angry lot. child. When we went to Brazil one time and we went in a taxi cab, it's I ripped my shirt. shirt off. Like, I literally <laughs> ripped it. I ripped it in half because <laughs> I was so hot and agitated. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. I saw like a then, seven year old do that, I'd be like, what is going on? <laughs> no, yeah. And then they said, like, it was so awkward after that, and the taxi cab kept, like, you know, being, like, looking back. They should have left you. <laughs> yeah. They always tell me that story, and I'm like, damn, I was, I was a crazy kid. So. Think about that. Okay, Christine, quick fire. I'll take one of each person here, if that. Devin, kindergarten? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what what the kindergarten? Fuck? Go ahead, Devin. Okay, um, I was skinny and I, I know, had a big yeah, head. No, yeah, I can flick that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna go like, like 40. Yeah, that's a good yeah. number. 65. <laughs> 65. <laughs> <laughs> it's either hit or miss with you. You can yeah. either get 100 of you or you can get yeah, like I'm, five. I'm, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go like, like 50, okay. 55. Okay. Devin, safe. think about my information I just said. She might rip her were shirt off. <laughs> were you athletic? Were you athletic? Like, Ew! Be honest, were you no, athletic? But I was were, you strong, were you athletic? I was a strong kid to rip my shirt in half like that. Crazy. <laughs> 55 as well. Sean, I know you were goofy. Sean, hey, hey, hey. I was hella athletic, bro. Sean, Sean was fat. No, I wasn't fat as a kid. I was fat in like junior high. When I was a kid, I was hella lean, so you could take me on. But I had an afro. That shit, oh, oh, that's padded, bro. That's, <laughs> I could hit you and you could like, boom. You, know? you could also so, pull his hair. Oh, dude. He can't tie it That back. shit was nappy, though. It goes along with it. Fucking, there's like 30 of me. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 30. Five. <laughs> I'm gonna go 20, 40, 20, 35, and. Is it hit or miss with me? I don't know. I could. 25, <laughs> 25, 25, 25. Go ahead, Marty. Realistically, realistically, I think I could take eight Good. of oh, Sages. Solid solid yeah. um, probably like. Damn, I put big numbers out there. I'm gonna I'm say 15, <laughs> Christine's. Um. <clears throat> That's pretty small kid. <sighs> like nine Devons. Um, God, I'm really. You guys are really. Gonna, probably I don't think I'm taking on eight max. Probably twenty Nicks, and then <laughs> Damn. Sean's would be like. <coughs> I'm gonna say like five Sean's. Dude, you guys are going crazy. Like that's bullshit. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm I saying like eight sages. I'll, I'll give like I'll give like I'll fifteen Christines. Nah, I can do thirty Christines. I'll hey, go, can we do my after? I'll go. Oh, nah, that's it. You're locked in. No, that's I don't want. I'm gonna lose. No. lose. I'll go like ten of you. I'll go like thirty. <laughs> nah, just wait. I'd go like fifteen of Nick. I think Nick was really smart as a child. There's no shot you can't go fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm telling you right now, dude. dude if I saw fifteen kindergartners like, walking just... in this room, I'm fucking them up. Like, <laughs> that's not even a question. Dude, you gotta think they're all charging you while they're you hit angry. one. The other but one's like, grabbing your ears. They have no, like, they have no agility. Like, like, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, they're getting all like the distractions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. one kid is oh, connecting nah. to your nose, <laughs> <laughs> and you're. Have have you ever babysat Six and had a kid like accidentally hurt you? Like what? that what? fucking okay. hurts. Like, no. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. This this is what I think. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like going outside. If I see the little kindergarten, I'm like, I can fuck him up. Okay, you know this is the stage. Like, this is the setting. Now imagine 60 that little kid. I can fuck I'm up. I'm draining a pool. I'm putting you in the bottom of the pool. All the kindergarten. That's too small. See, that's too small. That's that's different. That's like ten. That's very. Wait, you're drowning them in a pool? Right, you said 60. That's the locked in answer. That's what you I said. I think right? I could take 60. I, don't know. I, no, think, I, don't I think you could take 60. Give, give me in, in waves. Okay, I'm guess what? Yeah. Killing two, if I get like a two of them <laughs> hug around your leg, you're focused on your leg. Another one. <laughs> yeah, wait. bro. And then, hey, hey, why? I'm telling you, why you go like this? A younger stage is uppercut you. <laughs> He's and jumping on somebody's back. Yeah, he's jumping on the back. He's coming up. Lethal back. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they're all lethal. I'm saying is like you under. I'm telling you, no way. I was a shin biter, so you guys are fucked. No, See, I keep yeah. coordinating. Yeah. 
If anyone has yes, a... Yes, just think about... Yes, younger, kindergarteners. 15. Oh, they're coordinating. Never mind. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm tripping. 15. If they're coordinating together, 15. I think I could take three max, <laughs> honestly. Huh? Yeah. If I'm, <laughs> yeah. If I'm being dead ass serious, three max. They're turning into a giant Bro, what are they coordinating, bro? They're five years old. They're this screaming shit. at you. Yeah. They're crying. <laughs> they're snot. Okay, There's yeah, like... Oh, oh. You gotta, come on. Grease <laughs> 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 Okay. Well, okay, now you guys talk about coordination. <laughs> fucking. It's just a kindergartner. What kindergartner's got? They're wild. They don't man. got much, bro. Hey, they got confidence. They I'm don't gonna know what's going on. I'm the most unathletic versions of you guys, though. No, nah, I'm, I'm going to freak them out. Yeah. I'm going to play fucking crazy. Rawr. As soon as the first one comes, I'm grabbing the feet. <laughs> Fuck. Boom, right on the ground. Then. Like, hey, you want some? You want some of that? They're like, that that's what I was thinking. They're going to start running away. No, I'm grabbing the next one. <laughs> Oh you know what? That is a great goddamn yeah, point. You could scare him. You could scare him. I'm gonna use a deep ass boy. I'm gonna go crazy. You could scare him. That is true. That's a good Come tactic. Santa is real. I wish. Santa is real. I wish yeah. there was a simulation, man. I wish we could run it and see what's going down. I'm telling you, I you guys aren't surviving. I cool 60, bro. Uh, dude, like, it's cool 60, bro. Cool 60. It, I think it could be a challenge, but it's definitely doable. <laughs> I'm going to be challenged for sure. Yeah. Like, I'm, that's why I'm my last breath. I mean, I, I'm definitely yeah. nearly dead. I, I'm done, it's done, 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 <laughs> and there's one left. He's fucking. <laughs> and it's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Big one. Where's to my Big, boy? Yeah, he's he's fucking. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Max. All right, motherfuckers. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and wrap this shit up, bro. Yes, please. God yeah. damn. I'm so hungry. My pirate cards are so <laughs> annoying. So, um. Yes. Anyways, guys, Christine, you want to sign us off? Thanks Whoa. for watching. Um, Fuck, I'm my headed. Please yeah. like, subscribe, <laughs> follow us on all our social media accounts. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, no, I think you got everything. I'm your host, Christine. I'm um, Jack Sparrow. Oh, I don't know who I was. <laughs> Scrappy. Go, go. Scrappy, go, go. I'm Patches. I'm. It's so corny now. <laughs> so, I was gonna say I'm the Slayer, but it's corny now. It's been corny. <laughs> it's, it's been corny. And I'm oh, Spence Wah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next segment of Summer Talks. Peace the fuck out, y'all. Salute, my people, to another great podcast. Hey, I'm happy we're back, man. This was fun. This was yeah, needed. I'm Salute. sorry in advance. <laughs> you know, you, I, I always get you. You didn't get me once in my frustration. Yeah. Because I didn't understand what you were trying to Bro, say. I Sometimes, still make sense of what you say. No, no, no. Because Madu makes sense, but it's just funny. But it makes sense what she's getting at. You made no sense, bro.